Okay, so we are back. Okay, you have just made your way to the tavern. Or actually, do you prefer to go to the um, uh, chopped stone trade and gather um, materials and stuff, or any gear, or anything else you would need on the journey? When is our ship leaving? Is it any time or is it tonight? tomorrow? Tomorrow. So we have plenty of morning. We got paid. Yes, seventy-five gold each. Oh yeah. I want to go trading. What time is it now? It is closing to midnight-ish. Is the trader open? Um, you do hear sound from it, and light is on. Okay. Uh, I think it's gonna be rude now, so. I'll come back tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So you're heading to the tavern then? Question. Yes. Does the sun rise here? You don't know yet. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> you will find out <laughs> in the morning, maybe. Perfect. So you make your way to the si singing siren. Uh, you see that it's a two story dome, uh, still an igloo though. As you open the door, you see two dozen humans, a few dwarves sitting around. Um, there doesn't seem to be anyone extremely sick in here, uh, like in the church where some of them seemed uh, further along. Uh, but you do see a few people like coughing slightly and some shivering, feeling bad. I cast the deck magic to see if yes. everyone has something or just some of them. Uh, you do, things. as you do, you do see uh, this super faint on everyone that you look like pa quickly past that everyone is. Affected in the same way some, uh, somehow. Mm. Uh, you also see an enchantment on the fireplace uh, sitting in the middle of the room. Uh, you all see this um, fire dancing uh, to the sound of the mu flute music in this room. And you see it um, uh, flickering in colors of the northern lights. Yeah. Uh, you smell burning lumber and uh, beer and pel wet pelts in here. And you okay. food? Uh, you do see food on the different tables, people eating, drinking, enjoying themselves. And you see a young elven uh, lady standing behind the bar. High, strong build, blonde hair, uh, wearing simple but clean clothing. Are you guys hungry? Always. <coughs> yes, I go. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you make your way to the to the bar, and uh, as you uh, get for, uh, up there, you see someone uh, jumping up as he sees all of you. Oh, uh, hello! Welcome to uh, the singing t uh, siren tavern. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hello, my name is Ayrun. I'm here to serve you as my much as I can. My name is Lexi. Oh, it's so a beautiful nice name. to meet you. What is what is happening? Oh, uh, what brings you uh, here up to this cold place? It's horrible outside right now and oh. you sit till you come to visit me and that's lovely oh yes this place is warming our hearts oh, this perfect. is so great i love the aesthetics and the magical fireplace oh, i love sitting just by the people. fire and just like looking at it for hours it's uh, enchanting to watch it yes. really great so is there anything i can do for you ale ale of course ale. for all of you Uh, I do not, but we do serve a few things. Tonight we have uh, some mashed potatoes, some uh, roasted ham, uh, perfect for a cold night, and then of course we have ale, and we have some a few wines, if that's uh, more preferable. The note we got from the priest, was that yes. to... Uh, for stay and free food. Yes. yes. Okay. So, I've got this note from the good priest himself. Oh, of course. Oh, she tasted... Oh, wonderful. It's so nice to have uh, guests like you here. Yes. I will fix anything. If there's anything you need, just ask me and I will fix it for you instantly. She puts the note uh, away on the table and before you can even notice it, she slides uh, an ale towards you. Do you grab it before it slides away? I try. Okay. You have to roll for it. You can roll a dex. It's going to be extremely easy as she's not a bad waitress. <laughs> that one would be funny. <laughs> uh, it's a six. Six. So you like you stumble a little bit and it, it's a bit awkward, but you manage to take it easily enough. And she smiles towards you guys. What would you love to drink? I can barely look across the counter, right? Yeah. Um, what kind of ham do you have? Oh, well, it's ham. What kind of ham? Oh, well, it's uh, roasted uh, on a fire. Yep. Yeah, but what kind of ham? 
How old is it? What part of the animal is it from? Oh. What animal is it? I have to be honest, I have no idea to be fair. I'm not the one making the food. Oh. But I can ask if it's important for you. Perfect. Dash of water. Dashes away. Sorry. Uh, she comes back a few seconds later. Uh, this particular one was slaughtered yesterday, and it is from the side of it. It's uh, sliced in thin, uh, thin uh, slices. Okay. Is it? Was was it old? It Never was mind. old enough. I'll take I'll take the ham. And Perfect. The Perfect. I will uh, m make sure you get that right away. Uh, the rest of you, you also want food? I, will, I want just a, just a complete leg of lamb. We do not have lamb. But you can get a... I will fix you something. A leg of it. anything. Just a big <laughs> leg of meat. Perfect, perfect. And I will fix that for you. Beautiful. And for this uh, handsome gentleman over here... We left one on the oh, wonderful. <laughs> I would like to have some Heinz. How many? How about three? Three? <laughs> ah, thank you kindly. Question. How many hands do you have? <laughs> <laughs> they all stop. Anything to eat though? Hmm. Do you have some cake? I do not. Do you have some muffins? I do not. Do you have some cookies? I do not. What does this great establishment mm. have? We have ham and mashed potatoes tonight. And a huge and we are getting Lego. Meat. Yes, we are getting more stuff tomorrow, but uh, we have not gotten our wares yet. <laughs> uh, yes. Do you have any gravy? I can fix up something for you. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you said you didn't have your wares yet. Yes, they will. They are supposed to come this evening or tomorrow. Oh, so they're literally outside right now. Oh, we brought them. Oh, wonderful! Then we can start preparing some food tomorrow. Right. And, uh, Would there be any vegetables or fruits with the wares? Of course. And how are we doing with those muffins? I will make sure that in the morning when you wake up, I will get you a lot of muffins if you are if it is needed for honourable guests as yourself, of course. Ah, wonderful. What kind of flavour do you prefer? I like them green. Green. Perfect. I can try to make something like that. It's hard to find grass and uh, vegetables that are green around, but I think we can make something happen. No, the sprinkling on top. I like it green. I will f work something out. And did you want uh, ham too? Sure, I'll have ham. Perfect. And mashed potatoes. Probably some vegetables we can find. But they have green too. Yeah, but uh, beware. Uh, there's literally nothing useful among the wares outside. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. Did you lose all of it? I, I don't know. Well, that happens. People travel up and down the, uh, these roads all the time. They lose most of their wares. Well, that's what happens. We will make do with what you have. How did you say it? I would like to uh, throw myself in on some nice juicy taters. Of course. Could I have a uh, uh, just cup of gravy to go with my meat? Like a tankard of gravy? I can fix that. Yes, of course. I will have to make some more, but I can uh, manage that. I think what he means is you take some malted butter and you put it in a pint and give it to him. No. Oh, we do. No. We do have uh, wheat in it too. I think I'll do fine with a pint of butter. No. It's good for the system, you know, oils you up from the inside. Do you... would you prefer just butter? Uh, yeah, I'll get him a butter. It's on me. <laughs> don't worry about it. I don't, I don't... it's oh. fine. I don't think it's... I it's think it's right. on the priest. I think it's on the house. No, don't worry about it. Anything else? I'm confused. Do you have anything else to drink but uh, me? Uh, we have wine, of course. I would like. Perfect. Do you prefer white or red? I would have the white one, yes. Perfect. A bottle what is A bottle of, of yes. course. Yes, what a bottle of oh, thank you. Is it good? Mine is like uh, grape juice with a bit of kick into it. As you start talking and she like sees that you're not like looking at her, like still talking, she dashes away back again. And she's gone for a few moments this time, instead of just coming out right away. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you look around the, uh, the establishment, there's quite a few people here just relaxing, trying to get warm. And then pff, she comes back. It is now being prepared, all of it. I will uh, deliver it to you when it is ready. Do you mind bringing an empty uh, tankard with the butter? 
Of course. Although she uh, goes on the table, takes one up, an empty one. All right. Tell me when the rest arrives. <laughs> of course, I will fix it for you. We're going to make butter beer. <laughs> now, uh, I will have the rooms <coughs> fixed for you. How many rooms would you prefer? One, two, three, four? Four. Four rooms? No, I'll only need one room for me. Perfect. One for each of you. <laughs> 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 All right. If there's anything else you need, uh, please tell me. Is there a, is there a penthouse? A penthouse. I I've been in similar establishments and they have like something called a a penthouse or a penthouse. A or penthouse. A... Are you looking for where the animals live or where someone more wealthy are living? Uh, the last one. Oh, uh, we do not have anything like that. Do this. you have the first one? Uh, we do not have. Well, we do have some of it. We have a place where the dogs stay, but that will be all. Okay. As we get most of our wares from other places. Okay, I'll have a normal. normal. A room. Um, yeah. Oh, you think where to sleep? If you want to sleep with the dogs. No, uh, I slept with enough dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I will fix a room for this you. Doesn't uh, surprise me. How many dogs do you have in this pen of yours? Oh, it's not mine. Uh, it is uh, uh, some of the people that are responsible for traveling. Uh, uh, back and forth north by a uh, dog sledge. Sled. But they, they do have quite a few of them. Should we buy you some dogs? <laughs> we already ordered food. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, right. Please, uh, have a seat uh, at one of the tables uh, so you don't have to stand here and, and eat the food uh, standing, as it's problematic. I'll take a couple of glasses. Or some wine. Oh, you mean red ale? It's uh, actually white. Is it white? Okay. White ale? Is one that wine? Okay. One no, hand. it's just grape juice with a little kick. It's for the little... What is that? Can you see? What are they doing? This is very strange. Really pretentious. You put one finger out. <laughs> just a single finger. What in the name of Taimon are they doing? I put my finger out as well. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? I have no idea. It looks like a madhouse in here. <laughs> it's wine. Finger drink. And you see uh, the lady coming back with two huge plates, uh, like uh, boards with plates on them. Uh, she slides uh, all the plates o onto your table. Uh, you see your big leg, and then um, you see that they have taken mashed potatoes around it and then oh. like roasted it properly. Uh, you, g uh, you get your only mash, since you didn't want any ham. And uh, you get your food, of course, too. Uh, you get your tankard of gravy and a tankard of only butter. <laughs> and then on your stairs, put some gravy on it. Mm -hmm. uh, right. If there's anything else you need, of course, just tell me about it. And I will have it ready for you as quickly as possible. And the rooms are ready in about 10 minutes. Excuse me. Yes. Do you know where we could find some cough syrup? I've had some, some problems oh, today. Yes, and my it's, uh, so the sickness is quite popular uh, along these parts uh, recently. I don't have anything myself that will help you on this, but uh, some good ale or drink and food and a good night's rest usually helps a little bit at least. But uh, we are waiting for news from North where they are. They are, si they are telling us that uh, something good is working there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I take my uh, tankard of gravy and I drink it like I did the wild. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically just like butter and uh, and uh, wheat <laughs> mixed together with some water, and it's not great. Is this is, does this make it wine? <laughs> no, just it uh, look like a madman drinking a whole tanker <laughs> of uh, I'm just gravy. I'm just trying to uh, fit in, you know. I understand, and you're failing miserably. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, keep trying. One day, all you uh, might become normal. But look at this, we're going to make butter beer. So we're taking this. First I take the tankard of butter, I pour some on my taters. It's for the good flavor. All right, three tankards. <laughs> that I stir and I mix with my finger. Three perfectly good pints of butter beer. Should we have some gravy in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Uh, You're supposed to drink it like this. Oh. With the f with the finger as well? No. No? Just normally. No. Just drink. Just drink. You ruined it. 
<laughs> I'm taking these two. I'll go and sit at the end of the table. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. Oh. It's pretty good. I know. <laughs> I pour some gravy in there. All right. So you're sitting around. This is not the one I want, but but it can be there, I guess. Just need something. So you're sitting around, relaxing. Is there anything else you want to do with your evening? Are there any um, people with like coin pouches? You see, most people not well off. Most people seem like extremely common workers that just get by and by. Uh, doing their work and then work and then getting just the bare minimum to live here, uh, but you do see someone of note um, uh, in here that uh, has a huge uh, pou uh, pouch of something on the, her uh, table. Uh, she's uh, leaning back, f uh, her feet uh, on um, a stool, eating. I walk over to the counter again. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. It's you again. Oh, it's so wonderful to see you again. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. Perfect. Um, so, um, who's that person? Oh, uh, oh, she's wonderful. It's Fenric. Uh, she oh. uh, is uh, responsible for uh, all of the oh. crew that is traveling tomorrow. They have been extremely well here. Okay. So you walk around with your fancy wine over there, and you see it's a female gnome uh, sitting there and just enjoying her food. I will sit down with her and introduce myself in gnomish. Hi, my name is Lexi. Oh, hey, hello. Uh, and you see that she is wearing like um, 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 like shabby-ish clothing, it's nothing fancy necessarily, but it's, uh, well, good protection. You see that it's some kind of leather armor. Um, half long hair, and you see, now that you get close, there's a few dice uh, on a table. Um, yeah, you, and you, of course, you know, pouch. Uh, greetings, uh, how can I help you? Uh, we were informed that you were going to the one uh, Lily makes it. Uh, excursion to um, whatever it's called somewhere tomorrow yes we are traveling okay. north yes. tomorrow we need to go there um, I have this uh, letter from the priest alright uh, still a gnomish she takes it starts reading you see her getting almost a little bit annoyed at one point and then she like rolls up of course if you want to work on my ship uh, you are extremely welcome to do that we Where? will take you north north and we will uh, let you go when we get uh, as far as we need to get. Work on your ship. Of course, you cannot stay on a ship and do not do anything for it. Of course not. That was ob obviously not what I was uh, thinking we were going to do. It's not a cruise ship in any way or any traveling. We're not going on a safari. We are traveling north, which is yes. harsh weather and we need all the hands we can get. And if we are going to feed you and give you a place to rest, you will need to work for it. I will be glad to work for you. Perfect. Yes. I can't yeah. do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's switch to common. Of course. Hi. Hello. Uh, you are also joining this uh, crew then? Yes. Perfect. We have to work our way up on the oh, ship. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are any of you good at anything in particular on a boat? I mean, uh, we got a great entertainer. A An entertainer is not necessarily very useful on, on a boat traveling morale, north. Morale, of course. Yes, that it will help in the evenings, but are any of you good at any navigating? Do you know how to fire a ballista? Uh, do you have any sharp eyes? Are you good I at making food? I have sharp eyes, and I can cook. Perfect, I will introduce you to the one that is working at the lookout then, and he will take care of you. Um, what about you? What are you good at? I'm great at... Good, perfect. I know the perfect job for someone that is good at stuff. 
You will be helping the cook, I presume. I think that will be good. He needs some cleaning and uh, washing of plates and stuff like that then. We also have friends. Perfect. Yes, it says here that four of you are traveling. Yeah, it's um, it's those people. Yes, the one, the one uh, trying <coughs> choking down on that uh, huge meat, uh, chunk of meat and that one doing some strange stuff with his cups. As you, yes. as you see the way, I have drinking my butter beer and now I'm standing on the table with my loot. Uh, and I am about to play song. Alright, go for it. We arrive in Fireshear. Your trade goods are now here. Please do stare and put your money here. <laughs> I put out my hat. <laughs> you see people looking over. Ah, uh, you can roll a performance on that. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, <coughs> it's a um, 12. Great well, entertainer, I say. <laughs> it's been a long day. A few people like look over there, like confused and curious. But you see like two people who are dropping a few copper coins to end up with five in the end, which is more than nothing. Uh, you see, you see uh, that the um, gnome is not extremely impressed, but more hands are more hands. I presume they are capable, at least a little bit. After well, I'm done, I walk over. I see you clapping. I walk over. I say, thank you for that. It's been a long day. It was a entertaining enough performance. Uh, don't worry, this one's free. I had no idea intention of paying for it. Uh, so you're also joining the crew then tomorrow. That is uh, fortunate. Uh, what are you good at? Oh, I'm a halfling of many talents. But I think my position would best be to advise you during the journey. Fair enough. You can, uh, of course, work by my side if you uh, wish to do that. Of course. We need someone strong and firm at the helm. Well, she looks you up and down. Mostly down. Yes. <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh, I will find some work for you to do. And then your last companion, what is he good at? I'm still over there eating. He's strong. He's very He's strong. strong. And he... Well, He's stupid. He's Lexi. Wrong. He's really stupid. No, he's not Do you stupid. believe he's more of a... Controlling the ballista or more of a fixing the ship kind of guy then? I think you could do both, perhaps. Both Are you going them? to fire him out of a ballista? I He'd know. make a great projectile. <laughs> that head is as hard as a nut. <laughs> I would not trust that man with a ballista for hunting. Alright, so fixing the ship might be more preferable. Probably. I will ask him myself. Uh, she steps up uh, and you know what? pushes herself you up. You might have a great idea. Something. As now that I am your new advisor, I strongly advise you to make him uh, well, the guarantee around the ship. You know, walking around, telling everyone what to do. Everyone's too afraid to say no to him. Well, that is my job, mostly. <coughs> Haven't so you I ever thought about outsourcing your labour? I don't think it's necessary. All right, suit yourself. But anyway, I will have a talk with you myself, and then I will be seeing you early in the morning, right? Yes. Perfect. She walks uh, from the tree of you and comes over to you. Wait, does it? Does she leave anything on the table? No, she does take the cow coin oh. pouch with her. <laughs> <laughs> she is not leaving her money uh, behind. And she comes over, uh, looks uh, up at you. I, uh, does she say anything? Uh, not instantly. Okay. She just like looks at you for a moment. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, you are joining our crew tomorrow. <laughs> um, as yeah. you will be working on the ship, are there anything in particular that you're good at? Um, I'm strong. Yes, that's what uh, they also said. I can cook. You can cook? I, yeah. Do you wish to help at the kitchen too, then? Uh, is there anything else? Well, there's a lot of things to do on the ship. You say you're strong. Uh, do you want to repair, uh, help uh, uh, repair it? Or are you more of a lookout kind of person? Or are you good uh, with large weaponry? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm great. This is my, this is my war break. Her name is Lisa. <laughs> she's she's big. 
I was thinking more bigger than that, but uh, if you are at least bigger. able to carry that uh, proficiently, you are not useless at least. Perfect. I will I will hook you up with the carpenter and um, the people in charge of the ballista. Hopefully, we'll not, of course, need to use them. Wait, this is because I'm. Are you going? Because I'm going on the ship tomorrow. Oh, they were right. I'll be seeing you in the morning. <laughs> and then she walks away. I'm very confused. I go back to eating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to use your evening doing? Are there any daggers laying about? Uh, you can't see any weaponry at all. Oh. Uh, you can't even see people having weaponry on them. That's odd. The closest thing to a weapon would be someone with some kind of pick uh, thing that it, it looks like something that they would use to like remove stone from the walls and then try to fix it in some way. So more like masonry tools. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'll go over to the counter and I'll is there any uh, chance of a really good warm bath? Uh, we can fix something like that in your room. It might be a little tight for you but uh, we can fix something. Nice. Perfect. I will have that done instantly. And then she like dashes away for a short moment. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a gambling table. Yes, you look around. Um, as you look at the different tables, you can't spot anything gambling like in here. It just looks like a few commoners sitting around, drinking a little bit, relaxing. You hear a few, whisp few whispers about people being scared. And a few people talking about their work next day. So no one's playing cards or any kind of games? No cards, no dice, nothing in particular happening in here. It just seems like mostly scared people and tired people and commoners just drinking away their sorrows in the evening. I walk over to you and like, Lucky? Hey. Do you... I saw... I saw Fenric. She had... she had dice. I think we should we're, we're gonna leave tomorrow. We should we should we should do something for our lady tonight. What's your idea? I don't know yet. Are you wanting to take her money? Well, maybe not all of it. Are you proposing stealing it or gambling it? I was thinking I was thinking gambling. Well do you have anything to gamble with? Well, we did get paid today, and you are lucky. I'm talking a game. What kind of game are you going to play here? Well, you are the lucky one. Well, I haven't found a great pot of gold yet, but well, I get your point. Yeah. It's my name. And she had dice. Can you play with that? Can you do that? Sure. Where did she go? I don't know. As you look around, you cannot see her. She's a ghost. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. We have plenty of time to rubber blind on the boat. But uh, we should get a hold of some loaded dice. It's a good idea. I mean, there was a trader. Ah, we could all do that in the morning. Wonderful. I think I'm going to tuck in tonight. It's a rather miserable place. We don't enjoy music or gambling here. I'm going to sleep. Before you go, what did you see your potatoes? To me taters? Yes. Oh, it's some butter taters. Well, but you, you, you put your meat in them. No, I put my butter in the taters. Oh. Okay. Try it. It's wonderful. It's what my ma used to make. Okay. Lexi? <laughs> Someone has offended my honor. <laughs> it's just potatoes with butter. <laughs> Perfect. So you uh, re uh, get uh, some rest for the evening, or? Um, yep. If everyone's going to bed, or is everyone going to bed? I guess. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna knock on Alba's door. One. Like, on Alba's door. All right. Not like too late. But like, you know, once like I half an hour, hour after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm on the door. I open and I'm wearing like this facial mask. 
And my hair is like... <laughs> you mean manicure? <laughs> what? Uh, oh, sorry. Um, you talked about the Lady of Luck, right? Oh, yes. Um, you gave me that copper piece. Yeah. Can we can we talk about this inside? Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I close it. Like, <laughs> I like check if there's anyone out there. <laughs> close the door. I lock it if that's possible. Mm. I hop on the bed and my feet just dangle. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of sit down and I go. Yeah, I think it worked. <laughs> Yeah, the lady tends to do that. Uh, is there like an infinite amount of where? How do you? I told you. Yeah, but a piece it's of copper just, turns just into just a gold. But that's this. This is only one, right? Yes. You can see. But it. I only. Yeah, but this is one. Yes. This is my copper one. Yes. This is my gold. This is just one. Where? Where's the other nine? You need to be patient. Oh, okay. The lady wears a mysterious face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, just, just very new to me. All this. Mm. Um, all right. I'm gonna. You might get more if you spend that copper piece, trying to gain more gold. Yeah. How do I? You should talk to Lucky. Lucky knows. Lucky, Lucky knows. I thought you were like a, uh, a, a clear. Oh yes. Clear. Yes, but Lucky knows how to make that copper piece into more gold pieces. I thought that, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay. Um, all right. Don't, don't tell anyone, yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh, Bye now. Yeah, good night. And I walk out the door. All right. Do you make your way to your room or do you make your way to Lucky's room? I go to Lucky's room. <laughs> <laughs> March down the hallway. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Ah. What do you want? It's the middle of the night. Shh. Look, I found this gold. What? You found gold? Where? On the ground. <laughs> On the ground. By all that and is you, mighty. You keep that talking is about incredible. It. You keep talking about. I'm, I'm going. Can I come in? <laughs> all right. But what? No. Wipe off your feet. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> come in. You smoke. Or fire up the pipe. Sure, sure. Um, <laughs> just a minute. I'll lock up the door again, make sure no one's there. Look, so what's burning you? When you, because I talked to Alba, and she gave me that like copper piece. Hey. And she talked about like the lady of luck. Mm hmm. And she talked like she said tenfold of gold, and you keep talking about like this pot of gold. Hey. Understand back in the old old days, my great great grandfather. I yeah, I don't care. Old. I don't care I anything. About I don't care. I then don't, he forgot I where it really was don't, because the rainbow I disappeared. Really don't and care I'm still about looking for that. it. Yeah, that I just, gold is going to be I'm mine one day. I just she just told me that if I spend like the copper, I can get even more than just one because I found this on oh, the ground. Oh, you know what right? you say? You got to spend money to make money. Did it? Did it say? Hey, <laughs> who said that? Well, I said it just now. Yeah, yeah, but you said they said. Who said? But it was me. It was. Is it? I said it right now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are you hard for listening? Kid? Yeah. No. I'm just very new to all this with gods and, and you know oh, we right. worship a tree where I'm from. What you're going to do? Tomorrow you're going to go and see if they have any dog races here. All right. Then you're going to put that copper piece. This one. Yeah. Against the highest odds. I. Or oh, what's an odd? I never gambled. All right. You put it on the most losing side. And if you win, you're going to win back a million times more gold. Yeah, but she said tenfold. <laughs> but just put it on the dog. Uh, you sh could you help me? Could you help me with that? All right, but I'm buying loaded dice tomorrow. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Be on the way. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Could I? Um, are, can I smoke this before I leave, or should we? Was it for any? No. Never mind. Never mind. I'll, I'll go. I go back Stenser. to my room. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stenser, then we call Brit. And as you get to your room, there is a bath there. Mm. I uh, take my clothes, soak into the bath, and 
have a deep think. <laughs> <laughs> Reevaluate your life. <laughs> Reevaluate. <laughs> Perfect. So, you rest for the evening, or if you get a long rest. And as you wake, get all my spells back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as the barbarian. Nice, nice. <laughs> But yes, as you wake up, you make your way downstairs, eventually all of you. Um, by the door you see um, uh, Fenric stand standing there by the door, impatiently waiting. Well, you are slow risers in the morning. I, I need you to come and uh, we are leaving soon. Yes, of course. We have to get as much uh, time traveled uh, during the day as possible. <coughs> I, okay. Um, uh, we we have stuff to do. Could we? Could we? It's not going to take too long. Could we just? In thirty minutes, we are leaving. So I will see you at the docks within twenty minutes. Uh, if there's anything you need to get fixed, do it quickly. Do it uh, efficiently, and. Uh, it will be all right. If you're not there by 30 minutes, we will be leaving and you will be stranded here. Is that clear? Okay. Any problems with that? All right. Perfect. Let's go. We're going to have to go now. Yes. Find a dog race as yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> so, what do you guys want to do? <coughs> Run over to the shop? Yes. Yeah. So, the both of you, you see these two domes. Uh, and you see this uh, stone sign outside which says, Chopped Stone Trade. That's a really bad name for a shop. I do agree. But I do have an idea. After all, Fenric is from here. Yes. And uh, playing Loaded Base might come out. It's a small place, after all. This is true. So I have these costumes here. <laughs> oh. Hang on! And I run behind. I want to find, like, a secluded place. Oh, and by the way, the storm is still on, and you see no sunlight, it's complete darkness. Okay. Still. Okay. So. Do, do I see like a lot of people around? There's very few people making okay. their way could outside. You, you Don't worry, no, I'll keep a look at No, come All right. And you. I hide behind the corner. <laughs> like All right. It. And I cast um, the sky self. Perfect. Could I? Could I? Could I have my costume now? I just need a cape. All right. Here you go. What do you disguise? Just different clothing. Um. I don't know how this works. You'd basically look different. Okay, I look like a female version of him. Female half. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my oh my! I had no idea you had it into. Very great mm. work. I got to see. Thank you. All right. I'm going to put on this one. And I put on uh, like a completely different costume. Also, this one will probably not work for you. Big mustache. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to uh, just follow my lead. Hey, on your beard? <laughs> yes. You have a beard with no mustache. Ah, it makes all the difference. But now is it's it red? Mustache. Is it red? No, it's <laughs> it's a different color. It's blonde. <laughs> no, it's actually black. Oh. <laughs> black mustache. All right, I call it a black tan. Who mustache. is this man? <laughs> <laughs> and a different uh, a different color suit. Uh, That's great. All right, you're standing outside the shop. Do you want to enter it? All right, we're going to pretend we're some rich, fancy people up in town. Okay. All right. All right, I am ready. Are you going to go shopping with me? Oh. Why? Yeah. Wonderful. You make your way in. <laughs> so inside, you see torches, torches illuminating the shop, and you can see uh, flames and flickering coming from down the hallway, and you hear the sound of hammer hitting the metal uh, in the forge night next to this small shop, and you also smell charcoal, leather, and uh, in front of you, you see a male dwarf, and um, standing there, just sitting in his chair. Almost half asleep as you walk in and say, oh, uh, oh, welcome. Well, hello. My name is <laughs> Billy Longbottom Leaf. I'm here with the esteemed lady, Longbottom Leaf. 
<laughs> and we are looking to procure a very rare item that you might have in stock. You might have heard of it. Loaded dice. Because we have many children which we will beat in dice to teach them a lesson of being a good loser. <laughs> oh. Now do you have those dice? <laughs> um, we don't have any loaded dice. That's cheating would be bad. Of course. But, it but not if you do it to be children. <laughs> but uh, we could have it made. Yes. Have it made. Do you want them to be do you want them to be bad or good or so ones or sixes? I interrupt in halfling. We don't we don't have time to wait. How long will it take to make the loaded dice? few moments we just put some metal on the side <laughs> wonderful i will take one bad and one good one set good bad <laughs> you sound like my character good bad <laughs> perfect uh, well, how many in the set do you want five six or seven yes <laughs> six dice then okay right Exactly. Uh, well, for someone like you, uh, four gold coins. Of course. <laughs> I have many coins that are made of gold. <laughs> he accepts the coins. <laughs> and if anyone asks, it was Billy Longbottom Leaf <laughs> that was here. With this Longbottom Leaf to buy dice to win over their many children. <laughs> To teach them great morals, because we are great parents. <laughs> right. Um, right. Uh, it takes a few moments. Uh, he, he walks over to the forge with just a set, two sets of dice. He comes back with them and gives them to you. Like these two bags of dice. And you can feel like they're heavier than they should be. Uh, is there anything else you need? What else do you have to offer? <laughs> you have uh, warm clothing and everything else you would need to get out in the cold. Do you have any magical items? <laughs> no, we do not uh, carry anything as fancy as that in this store. Well, I will take one rip here. <laughs> because I did not break mine, but I like to have two. <laughs> because I am Billy Longbottom Leaf. <laughs> Of course. Um, uh, that would be um, oh boy. 75 gold pieces. I have many monies. <laughs> Which is why I will give you 40 gold pieces. <laughs> if we say 50, I will agree to this. All right, 45 <laughs> is a deal. Right. <laughs> Shakes on it. Yes. Give him 45 gold for a rapier. I do. Perfect. As you get this like shabby looking uh, rapier, but it's it's wor it works, but it's not well crafted in any way. Thank you very much. This is great craftsmanship. I must leave now because I have nothing important to do. Let's go. <laughs> but a good day. A good day. Yes, I will. <laughs> Um, I go uh, to the counter. Yes. And I ask for uh, dog races. Oh, uh, there's no dog races in here. Um, you could probably pay the owner of the dogs to host something like that, but with the weather being this horrible all the time, it's very hard to see the dogs running, and it would be pointless to have a dog race when you can't see who wins it. You know what, Prego? Huh? Let's, let's just go. Uh, in 30 minutes. We're going to be at the dogs. I, yeah, on the boat. It's the, leaving. But the dogs are very fast. Yes. But setting up dog races, <laughs> that takes some time. Oh, uh, but are you just interested in betting? Yeah, yeah. I can bet you one gold coin, and we can flip one coin, and if it says uh, really? I get it, and if it stares, you get it. Let's say two gold coins. All right. We we. 
Is it okay if you use this one? I hold up the cup of peace. <laughs> <laughs> to flip it? Yes, to flip it. Of course. She puts two gold coins on the counter. I put two. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, you could just flip that one. Uh, this one. Oh, that one. Oh. The head is heads. Big coin. <laughs> All right. Pick one heads or tails first. I'm going to do uh, dragon head. Perfect. You got no, the dragon no. head. I did. I did. Oh, my I did. God. Perfect. oh congratulations. Uh, she uh, scoots over. Now you have four gold coins out of that. Well, you have two more. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. You want to do it again? Oh, unfortunately, I don't have that much to spend oh, on I, fun. It's fine. It's, uh, thank you. Thank you. Though. It was very entertaining. Um, yes, it was. Yeah. Well, uh, I presume that you will have to be leaving soon. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Is there anything else you need before you go? Uh, is it? I looks so. Oh, um, no, I don't think Lexi. there is. Perfect. Unless you need something at the store, but I don't. But they already already left. The others. So. Do you have like just a tiny bit of string? A tiny. Just a little bit of string. Of course, that's something I can fix for you. She like takes out like a roll of string and. Then, mm. uh, how much do you need? Uh, just like mm. uh, this this much. Okay. She takes a little bit longer than that, mm. just in case, mm. and cuts it off for you. Uh, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm just going to put it in my pocket. Yeah. Well, have a safe journey, and uh, I look so forward to having you as guests again when you yes, return. I'm very eager to sleep here. It was so nice. Oh, perfect. That is so good to hear. Mm. Well, I, I see forward to looking at, uh, seeing you again. And next time, of course, we will have wonderful food for you. Oh, uh, actually, I have something. Can you bring it for one of your friends? Uh, she takes a small box out. Uh, opens it, you see four muffins in there, uh, she closes it. I didn't know what kind of green stuff you could put on it, so I just took the end of the carrot and I chopped it off and then I put it on top of it. I hope of that's course. good. I will bring it to one of my friends. Perfect. Have a safe travel. No need to mention this to you, of course it would be a surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Pack it deeply into my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, did you want to do anything at the store? No, I'm just, I'm just watching. You're just amazed by the performance. Yes, I'm very happy. Yeah. So you make yourself way out again, I presume. As we go to the docks. Yeah. Yeah. So you all make your ways to the docks. Oh my God, they're multiplying. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, of oh, the boats. <laughs> 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 but yes, you do see. Him with a black uh, moustache and in a new coloured suit, and this new friend of yours that looks extremely similar, just female. Lucky, I'm, what? I'm going to detect magic just to make sure. Oh, you see, think it is. Yeah, it's magic. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Lucky, what happened to your face? Oh, it's uh, nothing. <laughs> I just enjoy to have a little extra hair over the lip. It's cold. Oh. Oh, but what happened to your skin? I struck my huge beard. Hmm? What happened to your skin? Oh! <laughs> I turned back in a normal way. Hi. We were just exchanging some fashion sense. Yeah. I see. Do you like to try the mustache? You know what? No. I, I I'm good. I'm really good. Can I try the mustache? Alright. Come on. Don't lose it. I'll keep it safe. I only have a few more. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my breast. So you're supposed to put it here, under the nose. You but I already have one. I already have one. And why did you need another I one? I just wanted to try it out. <laughs> in your pocket. All right. You Later. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I'll find you another one. lost it, <laughs> Yes, you do see this large shit in front of you. And in, uh, and you see people going uh, on it, and you see people bringing boxes and preparing stuff for a journey. No. Do I see any special crates being transported on? Uh, all of them look similar. Some are round, some are square. But other than that, you don't see anything noteworthy. There's none of them that has like a fancy um, script on them or anything magical about them. Okay. Mm. Just looks like wares. So, are you all... Uh, start uh, walking towards it and going to enter it and you see in front of it again uh, Federic uh, stands at uh, side and like uh, guides the people on board it and um, as you approach 
Oh, good. Uh, you did manage to make it here. I am almost surprised that you uh, made it in so good time. Well, are you ready to uh, depart here? Yes. I'm very much ready to work for you, dear. Perfect. Now, you are going to help in the kitchens, right? Perfect. Uh, you just, uh, when you get up on the ship, you take the stairs downstairs and uh, the chef will be there and he will greet you. Uh, you are going to be working on the lookout. Perfect. Uh, you are looking for Heir. Um, he's a furbog. He will help you. Uh, and he will take you up to the tower and you can help him just watch out for uh, ice mount, uh, mounts of ice and if anything moves, just tell us. Wait. Now... If you see a mountain, yell mountain. If you see a shadow, yell shadow. But don't worry, Hair uh, is uh, proficient and he knows what he's doing. <coughs> now, what were you? You were going to do uh, some carpentry, you were going to try to fix the boat, and then you were also looking at the big uh, ballista. And as you can like look at the ship, you see this huge ballista on the back of the boat uh, standing there. I'm, I'm going to fix the boat. Well, you're not going to fix it yourself. You are going to help the rest of the crew just fixing it. All right. Yeah, sure. By, you know, cleaning it, putting some uh, nails here and there, making sure there's no water coming in while you're traveling. Yeah, um, what about the, the big weapon? The yes, I will have someone show you how they work, and uh, we will put you on there during the night. You will, of course, get to sleep during the day, then. Oh! Nice. Yes, and uh, you were going to work with me while on this trip. I hope that you're able to keep up. And oh, of course. And it will probably be beneficial to have more people making sure everyone is doing their job. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, so now make your way on the ship, uh, put your belongings in one of your cabins. Uh, she looks over to one of the other crew, you see this. A little bit larger guy walking up, and uh, she points. Uh, could you take them to the rooms? Say it's the one on the bottom uh, left, third door. Uh, they will be sharing that one, and they will be working. Uh, they should know where to go now. You're going to look out to the kitchen. You can just go up uh, to the blister, and I will um, show you how they work, and then you will be following me after putting your stuff away. Is that okay? Sure, dear. Perfect. Now get on board. Do you know her? <coughs> oh, we're great friends. Yes. Uh, nice. Yes, we had a good talk yesterday. Mm. She's a fine woman. I'm glad you like her. I really do. Perfect. So, so you make your way up. She's a bit short for my best. <coughs> <but coughs> you like the border women? Uh, I didn't say that. Sounded like you said that. Ne never mind, never mind. But you know what? I like the shorter guys. You're just my type. I'm not short. Shorter. Uh, shorter than most people are shorter than you. Yeah. I like the shorter guys. Nah. Can, can we? Yes, let's yeah. let's walk. So you awkwardly walk up. <laughs> but you do manage to get yourself on the ship. Whoa. And just to have a little bit of a visual on how the ship looks. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that was the first encounter. <gasps> you are on something like this. Um, you see the two bullies down the back, and you see where everyone is staying. Very nice. <clears throat> yes, perfect kitchen mm. on a ship. So you make your way downstairs, and the second you walk downstairs, <clears throat> you uh, hear a loud screaming of pain. As you can see, the second you uh, stare to the side of your, you see this uh, large man holding this uh, meat cleaver and uh, slammed it into the table and then puts up his hand and you see blood spilling from his hand. Oh no! I run at him. Okay, and you? Uh, let me look. Yeah, he takes it, uh, where you, like this blood spills over you and then he starts laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is just tomatoes. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, new people. It's you should have seen the faces on you. I lost this many years ago. Uh, you are the new uh, new crewmates, right? What a perfect. 
Gorf you are working with me? Is it uh, this, the shorter one? Are you referring to me? Yes. No. I will be working with you. you. Perfect. We're going to be great friends. That is great. Well, are you good at making food? Do you know how to make any food? I'm so good at making food. Perfect. Well, get to it then. Uh, and, oh, and he puts like um, all these vegetables that needs to get, uh, starts peeling them and then um, rinsing and everything. Like, you know, the boring kind of work you have to do when you like, do not have any trust in a kitchen, basically. Um, but it does put you to work. And every time someone comes with a plate or something, it looks to you like expectantly like that you're going to clean it. Is there a lot of people around, or is there just me and him? Mostly? There is a lot of people in this area. People cleaning the floors and um, moving stuff around. You see a few people relaxing and getting yelled at and then going back to work. But you continue in. Uh, you all get to put your stuff away here. Um, but you can have on whatever you prefer to have on. When it comes to a bolt armor, weapon, or any other items you have. But you all get assigned to your different places. Um, I'll buy you make your way up to this uh, tower that goes up in the middle of the ship. Is it like just a mast? With yeah. Like the with this like rope ladder hanging down. Is the guy uh, air? Hair? Hmm? Oh, uh, hair? Uh, the male fur bog. Uh, is he is down? no, he is on the top of it, and you can like just you just see up, and you see him all the way at the top. Uh, as you as you also get to the top, the I'm not climbing up. <laughs> no, I mean on the deck. Uh, you see the boat like starting to travel. Do we know? You the... all feel it moving. Sorry. Do we know the ship's name? You have not asked about it yet. Okay. But you would probably hear it walking around. That we, could we see it when we maybe when we enter? You did not see any name on it. Okay, cool. I'll ask someone. Yes, um, but yeah, you stand. You're standing in front of this a rope ladder that goes up to the uh, mast. Uh, at the same time, you make your way up to the blister. Okay. Um, with you, as she is uh, there um, herself. Uh, well, as you are proficient in weaponry, mostly, I think you would understand how this works. Yeah. You uh, grip into this part. Uh -huh. If you move it right, the target moves left. Opposite. And then you uh, release the bolt, mostly like a crossbow. Very nice. Yes, I think it would be... Worst case scenario, you have other people to do it too, but... Yeah, no, I'll f it's fine. I'll Perfect. Do it. um, well, uh, just while I have you, um, what's what does this board have a name? Of course, it's a uh, Hin Ringhorni. One more time. <laughs> Ringhorni. Ring Ringhorni. I <laughs> pretend to write it down now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, thank you. Yeah. Should I just stay? I mean, it's staying now. Should I stay here? Should no, I go to uh, bed? Uh, you, you use a few hours, get proficient with this, uh, so you understand how it works. I will leave one of the crew here and manning the other one, um, and just keeping watch that you're learning what you need to learn. And then someone will come and get you, and they will put you to work everywhere else on the ship if there's anything that needs cleaning, washing, fixing in any cap capacity. All right. Perfect. Are you going to climb the ladder? No. So you're just gonna stand it? Um, hello? As you, as you yell out, another, a, a guy walks past. Uh, are you the one walking up here? No. Oh, uh, where are you walking today? Uh, we, if you need it, we have need extra help downstairs. Doing what? Well, we have to uh, clean all the clothing and stuff that we have with us. Perfect. He takes you downstairs, and it's I'll not try like to any. Slip away. <laughs> oh, he tries to sneak door. away. Oh, arrow is stealth. That's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's like five. <laughs> five. <laughs> All right. So you're like. No, it's eight. Ah. Oh. As you try to like slip past, like, and you like try to hide, going to go hide behind a, a box. 
he just like takes your side and like, oh no, it's this way. Uh, this is where we have the supplies for the cooking. Where well, it's over here, oh, okay. and then it takes you over to like these stamps where um, it, it's nothing fancy in any way, but like it gets the clothes clean-ish. They are better than before they went in there. But it's this. Do they smell process. really bad? It smells pretty bad. Like they get cleaned, but not really. It's like if you wear something for a week and then you put in a in a bucket of water and take it out, shake it a little bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like. Is he gonna? Is he like staying here? Uh yeah, there's a few people like washing clothing. Okay. And then we're like people get changed in and out and do other stuff like in this area where they just fix stuff. Some some guys just like <coughs> trying to weed these baskets where it's like ruined, and then he like gives up, just puts a piece of plank on it and like hopes it works. It doesn't look like most of the people are extremely capable, but they get stuff done. Is it like nice clothes or just work? No, none of it. It's just um, commoner clothing. You know, um, I'll, come, I'll, I'll come back and help you, but I just remembered that Fenric, Fenric wanted to, to, to speak to me, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll course. come back. I would not make her wait. Uh, of course, run. Okay. Thank you. Bye. And you do not go to her? <laughs> While working in the kitchen, I yes. will chop vegetables as slowly as I can. Just <laughs> for, like, for other people, I will make the appearance that I am actually working, but it will be a minimized effort. Minimized <laughs> effort. Okay. And if cook, the cook comes to talk to me at one point, he probably does. I just tell him that for you, sir. That you tell the uh, lady upstairs that I was doing the greatest job. Or, and I will touch his good arm, put a small illusory mark on the on his clothes <laughs> at about this this point of the arm. And t- or, if you tell her I did a bad job, your life's going to be a lot harder. <laughs> so I think it's in your best interest to speak with me. <laughs> oh, you're a funny one. Uh, you're doing a, an okay job. I don't really care what you're doing here. I am fixing most of the stuff anyway. You're more just of a bother, to be fair. And if you were to hide in a box somewhere, I would not care at all. I would go hide in a box somewhere. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you spend the most of the day, the two of you just hiding away in on the ship. And you manage to do a... Most people don't seem to really care. I don't uh, to hide. Especially crew. I want to I want to roam the ship and get to know it and like see if I can find stuff stuff uh, or like fancy rooms or you know just taking stock of the ship. Yeah, you can do an investigation check or perception if you just want to like a quick glance. Investigation if you want to like properly go through stuff. I want to I I have to uh, investigate. Perfect. Oh, that's not good. Uh, ten. Ten. You are struggling a little bit as you're like a little bit on edge because you feel like everyone is that you go past will like stop you. But then again, no one really seems to care. Um, but you do, as you go through everything, it doesn't seem like anything fancy in particular. You do find some people ha- going around having a few coins on them. Um, you do recognize okay, one. Should we wait until they stop? They're just laughing at us. <laughs> Can't you appreciate the seagulls when you're out to sea? Yeah, it's, 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 it's the sound of the ocean. <laughs> oh, here goes. I don't think it will stop. No, <laughs> just give it a seagull squeal <laughs> to make you feel like you're truly sailing the ocean. <laughs> Same person. But yes, you do know. You do f- think uh, when you come to one of the doors that is more fancy and proper looking. That there's probably something behind it, and it you would uh, presume like the captain's quarters or something like that. Okay, I want to I want to stop here and wait for a little bit. If there's no one around, I want to inspect the lock. Yes, you do find, like, you can see the chef over in the other side of the room. People are doing stuff, but you do find moments where you're like inspecting a little bit, waiting, inspecting a little bit. But you can do an investigation on it to figure out if there's something you can are capable of dealing with. Oh, that's one. One. 
looks like a complicated lock. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that dice is horrible for you today. Yeah, it was super nice before the break, though. Oh. We need to get you one of these lucky charms. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, yeah. while you are, some of you actually are working a little bit on the ship, um, <laughs> um, you can do a charisma, uh, persuasion or intimidation check for me. Ooh. That's a four. Four. So you are trying to help instruct what people are going to do. So it's ten. Oh, ten. Total. Doesn't cool. change much, but uh, you do walk around, and when she says something, you like you you try to help, and you like walk around, but you're kind. To, you're maybe too kind or too aloof at some moments, go singing around a little bit. And you don't feel like you're helping, but you don't feel like you are making it harder for people either. But you are trying your best. Just breeze and true. Um, one guy comes and gets you during the day, um, and he then instructs you to do go fixing a part of the ship, just like basic work, and you can do me an athletics check. That's terrible. Uh, that's a ten. Ten. So you try to make the ship better in any way that you can, but it's extremely complicated. This small metal piece going into this wooden piece, holding it together. Weird magic. Round square. <laughs> Peg. Yeah. Uh, can I steal a hammer and nail? Yeah. Easily. While well, you are like standing there, and then you just like pocket it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> this one's mine now. <laughs> uh, and the two of you aren't really doing much on the ship. I'm sitting in the in the in the corner, taking out my backpack, a small box. Yeah. Putting it, putting out one muffin, a single muffin. <laughs> it tastes tastes pretty good. It doesn't have a lot of taste, but it's some kind of carrot uh, cupcake. Carrot cupcake. Mm. It's a little strange that like the end of the carrot is on top of it. It does like taste weirder, but ah, it works. You can eat it. Can eat it. Right, I enjoy it. Perfect. Close the box. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> you evil. <laughs> and is there anything else you wish to do? I'm while just walk around and search for stuff and I don't know stumble upon you maybe in my search probably <laughs> enjoying a muffin are you hiding in a box <laughs> <laughs> like, if there's a if, if there's a better place to hide than in the box probably okay probably not I mean so yeah but uh, but if in a box is the only place I can hide then well maybe that was the instruction he said you could <laughs> hide in a box well I wouldn't if I saw another better place I would probably um, look slightly you can do a perception check just quickly to see if you find like, something more nope. decent. Nope. I hide in the box. <laughs> okay, so he's si she's sitting in a box yes. eating a cupcake. Yeah. Like a lunatic. <laughs> you didn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> I am not the woman you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna keep walking. <laughs> So you continue searching. You use a lot of the day just trying to find something of use. But find like where they keep the weapons and stuff. Yeah, weapons. Some of it is just laying around, just like okay, I want to pick discard. Up, I want to pick up a dagger. Yeah, easily. One. Like um, on your search, you find four daggers just laying in one corner. I'm gonna pick them all up and like stuff them in my belt. Yeah. So you have a lot of daggers. Yeah. Okay. Some people look strange with you, but they're like ah, whatever. On this boat, you take what you need. Do I find a short bow? Um, you can do a perception for that, as it's a little bit more fancy. Mm, at least 19. At least uh, You easily find one, and you find uh, 17 arrows with it too. Okay, I want to pick it up and take it back to Blackfield Fox. Alright. You didn't see this either. Keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Now this <laughs> bow in the box. <laughs> Smells <Sure>. weird. <laughs> Scroll it past. <laughs> Put it in my bike, I suppose. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to <coughs> use the time with the Captain Fenric to recruit everyone to our dice playing league. 
Maybe. Very nice. Uh, as you are starting to go around and talking about it, she does uh, pick up on it, and she seems intrigued, and uh, co- uh, starts talking with you. Uh, we actually do play dice every night here on the ship, oh. but you want to make it more official in some way. Well, I was thinking maybe we could throw some good old dice and see who the lady luck favors the most. Of course, we uh, at the evening we will. Usually relax and do most of it, as there's only a few crew members that need to work Sounds actively through the night. Wonderful. So where can I find me some dice? We have a lot of dice downstairs. Oh, wonderful. I'll go and get some uh, when I have time. Perfect. Well, get back to work, and yeah, the more people you get interested in this, of course, it would be preferable. Exactly. I'm going to do a smashing job here. I think it will be good for morale. You can do another persuasion check to see how excited you get people on this dice game of yours. 17? 17? Mm. Well, like, people are like, hmm, yeah, we usually do play dice at the evening, but there's only like a 2 3 that usually does it, and then people watch. But people are like getting excited for it. People talk about it throughout the day, like, oh, I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> I go around and claim me song. Tomorrow will bring you luck, unless your dice suck. <laughs> so bet all your gold, cause tomorrow will reward the bold. Perfect. <laughs> Great. So, uh, after a few hours, you get to go to bed before night falls. Awesome. Um, is there anything else you want to do on the ship in particular? Come when I'm in the room. Am I in the room alone, I presume, since I'm sleeping? Mostly yeah, if alone. alone. It's yeah. like... You can hear still hear people and... Oh, do we share like with everyone? Yeah, mostly. Okay. I uh, still, I want to um, uh, take out my coin. Yeah. And I want to take out my hammer and the nail. And I walk. <laughs> okay. Punch a little hole in it. And I take the string. Tie a little bow. And put it around my neck. <laughs> oh, damn. Fancy. Mm. Okay. A productive day. A productive day indeed. <laughs> Another one joins the fold. <laughs> <laughs> the Perfect. power of tomorrow grows. You just ruined your lucky coin. <laughs> <laughs> no more luck for you. You have to roll a disadvantage the rest of the evening. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but yes, evening does come. Um, you are called to post upstairs at the ballista. Mm-hmm. And the rest of you are relieved of your duties that you did not do. <laughs> and uh, are able to do as you prefer in the evening. I uh, go over to uh, uh, Alba and I say, All right, lass. We're probably going to have a quite few people joining the dice game now. Oh, that's wonderful. I've been recruiting everyone. Good job, Lucky. Also, I found some normal dice so we can mix it into the bad and good ones. So we don't only get sixers. Yeah. But that's we will always have around two dice. One or two dice. It will give us the edge. Okay. Also, take a bad set so you can catfish those. Uh, oh, okay. Lose on purpose so you get more money, and then you win it all back with the right dice. Alright, so you are going to play some dice with people. You see, people are like excited, some are even standing in line because they want to play specific people, but most people just sit, sit down at the table, drink a little bit, and throw some dice. And you see a table, uh, you see two tables that are. are Free, where you could either both join one table or you can join separate tables. I say we get back on the right horses first. Aye, divide and conquer. Great idea. Perfect. And what do you wish to do while they are? I probably fall asleep at some point. Okay, so you like sleeping in the box just? <laughs> <laughs> probably. Probably. <laughs> You're just like sleeping there, holding the bow, protecting it with your life. Oh, it's in my backpack. Ah, okay, fair enough. Mm. Dreaming about cupcakes. But yes, you do see that people are playing devil's dice, uh, which is very similar to poker in the way where you roll five dice. You're trying to get as many equal as possible. Um, when you have rolled once, you can uh, uh, hire the bet, uh, or you can, and then you ro- can roll X amount of dice that you wish to roll again. All right. And then, of course, the one with the highest wins. Is it a dealer? On each of these tables? No, it's just like more of a free. People have their cups. They okay, and play. they use their own dice. Yeah, it's just like dice that they collect. 
from our all round. Okay. okay. And uh, yeah, everyone plays with their own set nice. of dice. Cool, cool, cool. And it is 5d6 dice. Okay. But yes, uh, you both sit down at uh, one uh, table each. I can start with you, just to do it easier as I don't play both of you at the same time. But you sit down. Oh, uh, you're joining the table. Well, of course. Yes, uh, there's one gold piece for entry per person. Why don't we make it five? Oh, a daring one, and you hear people like getting excited for it, and they're like, oh, wow, five coins, well, all right. After all, Taimura is on my side. He puts five uh, gold coins on the table. Well, are you ready to throw? Of course. I actually do need more of these sixes, then I do need two more. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Do you have enough dice? I don't know, how many do I need? Five. Do you have five? Four? I have four. Okay. Wait, you're missing one more. Oh, I use D6. Okay. <laughs> Screw the D6. <laughs> yeah, All right. All right. So, I have two loaded dice. Yes. Uh, if, you w if you're intending to shit one, you can do a strike of hand and then you can just two put two dice with the number you are desiring. Yeah, so, first, I'm going to lose twice on purpose. Because these are loaded bad dice. Okay. Uh, so I'm kind of catfish. Then we don't really need to the... roll for the game. You can roll a sleight of hand twice. Alright. To see if you get noticed. Taimara, go Taimara. That's uh, 18. 18? Mm -hmm. uh, it seems you're, oh, you lost the first round. No, no, no. I lose. Yeah, you lost yeah, the first right. round. Oh. So that's five gold coins in a loss. Looks like she's on your side, Lady Lock, now. What about double or nothing? Fair enough. All right. Wonderful. That's a seven plus twelve. Twelve. You do seem the chef seems a little bit suspicious, but uh, you do lose this round. As they were like, oh, something seemed wrong, but he still lost. So, ah, oh, fair enough. Ah. Uh, all right. When you last, I'm going all in. What do you say? And how much do you have? Well. I do have quite a great sum of money here. It's about uh, 40 gold pieces. 40 gold? Hey, what do you say? He looks at one of his buddies. Ah, so you borrow me a 10 so I can. And they're like, yeah, this loser can't even win one round. <laughs> and they put 40 gold <laughs> coins on the table. And you're going to play fair or with the no, cheat? No, I'm cheating. No, you're cheating yeah. for your win. You um, can do another sleight of hand. Um, can you give yourself part of inspiration? No. no. How okay. do you do it with the... Uh, you can expand it and then you can throw again. And you have, have advantage. To, then I have to use that number? Or do you have no, advantage? No, you can... Then you keep... Oh, it's like having advantage. I will use advantage. So I rolled a 9. <gasps> I rolled a 3. <laughs> well, but it's 14. 14? Hmm. As you start to play, uh, and now I will say you can put two dice aside, which with the number you prefer. It's good to have six, right? Six is the best uh, number. Oh yes, two six. And then I will, and then you throw the last three to see what actually the random number is. Oh, that's a sixer. Oh, nice. Yeah. And a two and a one. Okay. And then you, uh, then you can raise it or lower it if you wish. I am presuming you are doing nothing as you have all in. And then you can roll two more times, basically. Roll. So as many dice as you wish to roll. I want so to roll these ones again? Yeah, if you want to. So you'll do it twice. That's a four. That so I can, you can't re-roll that. Yeah, you can, you can roll three times in total. Oh. So you can roll as many dice as you choose. Yeah, yeah. but so I have to keep this like one. Like so Yeltsin, but... You can re-roll both. Yeah, you can re-roll both. Should I? Yeah. 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 Oh, you want the six. Oh, so it's all about getting six? Yeah, well, you want six as count. many of the oh. same number as possible. And bigger right. number, better. Mm. That's oh. terrible. And one left. One last. And that's the last so one. three total. Yeah. So the first you have chrome three times. Okay. So the scoring is then you get three sixes and two random numbers, I presume. He gets three ones and two two random numbers, which means that you win all the gold. Woo! So you have eighty gold coins now. Lady Taimora! Lady Luck! And oh, see like my. look suspicious at you, but well, you did lose two rounds and you haven't changed much. Oh. I forgot to say, 
That was truly unlucky for you. Yes, I will win them back from you later. Well, I'll have course. to scrap some money up. Wonderful. And you see, like, he's really annoyed and walks away. At the same time, at your table, are you going to try to do the same thing? Um, I guess. What are, what are people doing? Are you here? No. No, you're at work. Okay, and you're, you're playing it simultaneously. What are the rest of the people doing? Just watching, sharing, and most of them are playing. Are people walking around with drinks? Or? Yeah, people are going crazy. Okay. okay, cool. Yeah. Yes, how do you want to do it? Um, I think I'm going to run the same tactic. As yeah, so you're trying to lose twice yeah. and then win. Yes, you can. How much do you bet on the first round? No, actually, I'm going to play it fair and square the first two times. Oh. Yeah. All right, so you sit down with this uh, lady that's uh, sitting there. Well, Hi. I wish the best of luck. How much do you wish to bet? There's one gold coin for entry on this one. Oh, well, um, I'll start with one then. Perfect. She puts one, and now you can hide the numbers for me. If it doesn't really matter. But I need five pieces. Oh. Where did my pieces go? So, I would like to raise it by two more gold coins, so three in total. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so you both fit in three, and then you can show again. Hmm, interesting. Um, we have one more show. Uh, how about we make it more interesting in ten more gold coins? So, 13 in total. Perfect, you put in the money and then it's the last throw. Mm -hmm. I want to try to fudge it now. Alright, you want to fudge mm -hmm. multiple no, dice or? Fudge. No, not this one, no. Alright, then you can throw as many as you wish last time. Okay, I got four twos and one five. Oh, I got two sixes and two threes. So you lose the money. Okay. But it was close. So, she takes the 13 gold coins from you. Uh, you wish to try again? Um, yes, I, I just need to go borrow some money from my friend. Right. Could, is that okay? Of course. Thank the more you. money I can earn from you, the better. Okay, thank you. I'll go over to Lucky. Yeah. At the same time, at the, on the deck, you see uh, you're sitting there on, on your ballista, you're just watching out. <sighs> and then you see so a man walking up. And then tips over the railing. Uh, uh help! Uh, uh, I run to the railing, look down. Yeah, you run to the railing, and you like you see gone, no one, and you like f you hear this faint sound, and you're like, hmm, this is quite nice. I need you to roll a wisdom signal. Oh for me. my lord! <laughs> uh, okay. Everything's fine. Everything is also. Everything is fine. Uh, wisdom? Yeah. It's nine. Nine? Mm. Trigger was fine, but he was attacked by a mermaid from <laughs> behind. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite soothing uh, sound that you're hearing. You're hearing this beautiful music play oh. as you are standing at the edge and you're like, oh, the bath I had yesterday was nice. This water down below me looks even better. And like you're starting to like climb up on the railing, you feel these hairy arms come around you and drag you in. As you hear the bell start to talk at the tower, doom, 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 and you snap out of it as you see this furball standing there holding you now. And you, all of you at the, on the uh, bottom deck now start to hear this bell t go, uh, go off. <coughs> Is anyone wanting to do anything in particular? Uh, yeah, sorry. Does a commotion break out? Yeah, you see people like grabbing weapons and starting to run upstairs. Okay, I'm, I'm tiny, so I'm approximately hip high. Yeah? Yeah. I want to just try to snag coin pouches. <laughs> <laughs> um, make me three sides of hand checks. <laughs> I will also try and snag some gold pouches. Yeah, go for I it. Will I will let you do one as you are. She is more proficient, yes. I believe, in I will take coins. one. Mm. 
Which one is good dice? No, no, no. The first one is 17. 17? Perfect. Oh, that's 16. All. 16. Oh, an 8. An 8. Um, so for, people are in a panic, and you got? Um, I got a 16. 16. So you do manage to get one from a lady that runs past you. Uh, you get uh, two of them. Um, and total, you get uh, 28 gold coins. And you get 26 gold coins. People are racking up the coin while I'm just sitting here, jumping yeah. into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you do see now climbing up on the backside of shi the ship this scale, scaly lake, a woman uh, with a staff, like looking over at you, and like this sound comes from her. And you're like trying again. You see people like drawing their weapons, charging towards this, uh, these things. Uh, you see the one of the ballistas that's still armed shoots down against it, and you can all roll initiative as you come upstairs. I'm probably around behind as I'm crawling out of my box. That's terrible. Fair enough. <laughs> so you're like using some more time to get up yeah. there. I must say, setting up an illegal gambling ring was quite profitable. <laughs> it amazingly was. Especially rubbing people after uh, they it's were shot. I, uh, I'm interested to know how, uh, how the Lady of Luck, what she thinks about cheating though. <laughs> of course, she is in favor of cheating. Some, it's a little bit long. It's what she's all about. For some you reason, you have to be quite lucky not to get caught. Perfect. Um, you are coming out from this area, so you can put yourself around there. Where am I? I'm there. Where am I? Where am I? So what are we hearing? Am I on the front? You hear this beautiful the... music as you come upstairs. Beautiful music, you see. Yes. And you see these creatures oh my surround God. you. These are the stairs here? Yes. All right. So they're playing music. Uh, the ballista is, is it on the back? It is here. Okay. So you're just like standing at the edge, uh, ready to jump off. Mm. But you are snapped out of it. Thank you, Mr. Crowbar Man. And you see the one singing up here. And then you see this other merfolk gathering up around you. So I need some initiative, 25 to 20. Quite ambitious. Mm. <laughs> All right. I also need to roll some initiative. Great rolls tonight, guys. All right. Awesome. Uh, 22, 15. 19. 19. Hey. One, let's see. Nice. Uh, uh, 15 to 10. 25. Oh, oh yeah, 10, actually. Me. 10. 10. Sorry. I'm a niner. Okay. <laughs> good. Which of you prefer to go first? Let's uh, Alba or Loki. Ladies first. Then it is Alba. Into combat. It's first. <laughs> 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 <At> first. <laughs> oh, I don't discriminate <laughs> on the battlefield. Perfect. <laughs> so, Lexi, as you're like stumbling away and like you hear this beautiful song outside, you see people pushing up, trying to get upstairs, and you see this uh, scaled creature. Creatures grabbing people, throwing them into the sea. Well, I'm stumbling up the stairs, dashing, and uh, wait, that's not me. Oh, oh you killed her! Oh, I murdered oh, no. her. That's one way to do it. So <laughs> I come outside, and I suppose that's my turn as I'm stumbling my way up. I was outside. stumbling my way up. Way up. Perfect. Then it's the the great lady of uh, singing. She starts to sing more beautifully, and I need everyone to make a charisma saving throw. No. Charisma saving throw. Charisma yes. saving throw. Even the ladies? Everyone. Okay. That's Fine. terrible. It's fine. That's the most trash. Ah! Game. It's gonna be fine. That's a uh, 25. Barely makes it. I 16. understand. 16? Nine. Nine? Natural one. Natural one. So the two of you, it's just a beautiful song. And you feel like you want to use your whole turn just moving towards it. And that's the one singing? Yes. Perfect. Me lucky okay, charms. 
Then it is Fregor, it's your turn. You want to dash to her. Amazingly, oh, run as fast as I can. Yes. Um, do you mind just moving me 30, uh, 60 feet? Yeah, if you can just do it, that's uh, your process. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Question. 35. Yeah. Do I have to take the shortest route, or can I cut that? Yeah, no, it's, it's, well, it's, it's that the one. shortest it's route. It's that right. one. Uh, nice. Okay. So you run across the ship to get there. That's your turn. It's Alba. You are I run too. in the same situation. Um, so you make your way up to her. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be able to get to her. I still have some movement back. Perfect. So you uh, run all the way up to her. And he, she takes your hand as you get there and like starts to guide you towards the sea. But that will be your turn. Lucky, it's your turn. This is not a good song. It's lame compared to your it's talent. It's a terrible song. I'm going to try and blast it out. All right. A song out. A song out. I'm trying to uh, overdo her song. All right. Just play louder, louder. Exactly. Play loudly and terrible to break them out of their spell. Hmm. I will say you can do a you can do a performance. Usually, it's a subclass of bar that can actually do that. But I will allow a performance to see if you can help at least. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take the horn and put it in my mouth, and I'm going to blow it repeatedly to make constant noise. <laughs> at I at the same time play all the wrong accords on my lute. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like okay. it. So a performance. Exactly. Have we gotten a long wrist? Uh, yes. Maybe. Yes, that's true. All right, so what do you want me to roll here? Just performance. A performance. Come on, be terrible. It's a <sighs> 19. 19? Plus, uh, so it's a 25. 25. A part of me wants to say that you can't help yourself from playing good, but <laughs> you were trying to play bad. I will say that this loud sound, and you are throwing her up a little bit, so I will say that the people have advantage next time to yes. try to snap out of it. Wonderful. Would you say that's an action? Yes, I would say. All right. Doing this would be an action. Then I will use my bonus action to say to you, you better not fall for this ugly fish lady. <laughs> Do you understand me? Sure. All right, fish lady. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> She's ugly. She has gills. <laughs> She's ugly. She has gills. Fair enough. That's my turn. Uh, I think I am going to move over here. Yeah, so you step closer to her? Yes. Then, and you see like more of these smurf people fighting up here. and But you see that the crew is like handling most of it. This ballista shoots down, pff, takes this one out instantly. As it just rip, shoots this huge harpoon to it and then pff, start, starts tracking it towards it. And uh, this one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30 will get to you. And it's gonna claw at you as you are trying to disrupt the queen's singing. Uh, will a 13 hit? Miss. <coughs> Perfect. And this one will move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we'll go for... I'm inside the... Yes, so it will go for the barbarian. Shank it. Oh. Slashes at you, uh, 18. And that hits. But isn't she over 60 feet away? Uh, over oh, 30 feet away from you? That might be. Because you have to do like 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10. Oh, you're thinking like across? Yeah, if you... I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I would say she just gets there. Okay. Cool. So as you're walking up the stairs, you can see her. And that's them. Then it is. Let's see. So I see this one here. Yes. How tough does it look? Not extremely. It looks weaker than the zombies you were dealing with. Okay. In that case, I will just uh, do my uh, very best as a warlock. Nothing. The standard... Uh, Hexen Eldritch Blasts. Perfect. That's a natural 19, so that should hit. Perfect. If you were a hex blade now, you would uh, crit it too. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, for a 10 total. 
Ten. Ten. So you shoot into it, incinerating most, like, over, but you see it, like, barely hanging on to life. Like, really barely. As it starts to just crawl towards you in agony. And I will just say to it, get out of my way. I will fry your brains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And then I will move past, completely ignoring, assuming it, it won't, won't attack me. It doesn't go for it. It's kind of scared out from you, like you'd basically killed it in one hit, almost. So you uh, run past it, you see this huge siren standing uh, in the front. Uh, and then it's the siren's turn. Of course she has your hand. And uh, uh, on her turn, the two of you can make a new save. Hopefully you make it. With advantage. With advantage. Fucking hell. I can't believe I tapped on camera. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> it will be a meme for it life. Will be, it will be for life. Um, from the bottom to the fucking top. Not 20. Oh, nice. And 15. you? 15. So, as he like, guides your hand, you like look at the railing, you're like about to jump off, and then you lift, look down into the dark depths of the water, and you're like, I can't do it. This is madness. And you like snap out of it. You, you also snap out of it easily, and you're fully prepared, ready. Unfortunate for that. That was the one natural 20, so it doesn't do anything different, but still cool. Yeah. Uh, she's annoyed that it didn't work anymore on you, uh, so she's going to claw at you instead. Uh, 21 to hit. Yeah. Uh, Yikes. Nine points of slashing damage. And then she goes for another hit. Uh, 13? That also hits. Yep. Oof. Seven more slashing damage. Oof. Okay. You're still standing? Yeah. Technically? Yep. Perfect. Then it's Fregler's turn. You see that she gets angry and slashes twice towards this poor goblin. And you, I presume you see her struggling to keep uh, standing. Uh, I do. Um, I will take out one of my javelins. Yes. Uh, and I'll chuck it at her. Perfect, go for it. Um, I don't have to use my dexterity to hit, right? Not with the javelin, no. Not with the javelin? No. Awesome. Even though I'm throwing it? Yeah, throwing it is a strength unless it's uh, um, finesse. And oh. you can use dexterity. Beautiful. Fucking hell. 24. That hits. Easily. That's a um, grand total of four damage. <laughs> <laughs> four damage? Yeah. So it like it does technically hit her, but if you blink you wouldn't think so. <laughs> so you like chin or something. Yeah, just like barely. You almost hit her more than you think. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to move? Um You still have your bonus action too. Yeah. I'm gonna enter Hmm. No, I'm just gonna turn around, wait for the one to come and get me. Perfect. What's your passive perception? My passive is 11. 11, perfect. That's wonderful. Alba. Fucking wonderful. Uh, I'm, I'm like sitting on the railing now, basically. Um, you haven't made your way down from it, but you're like at the edge. No, but like, would I, could I be sitting at the railing? Yeah, of course. Is she straight in front of me? Yes. Okay, I want to... Jump off. No, I want to brace my feet against the railing and jump, and I want to bite her face. <laughs> okay, yes. Go for it. Um, you know what? Make it a normal attack you would do with your daggers, but just make it with advantage. Okay. Nice. That's really bad. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. She has advantage, right? Yeah, still was horrible. Yeah, oh my lord. Was 13. 13 barely hits. Oh. So we're going to damage on that one. And I use the damage for the daggers? Uh, whichever weapon you would use when hitting someone. Mm, I, guess that, I guess that would be a dagger. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Go for that. <laughs> oh. Seven! Seven damage. So you launch off from this thing and you like grab onto her and bite in and you both slam into the ground. 
Uh, so you're both prone from it, but you're like, like now on top of her, like biting into <laughs> her. <laughs> she does not look happy about it. Uh, do you want to move off her, or do you want to stay on top of her, trying to pin her down? No, I'm going to bite her face, and once we hit the ground, I want to get off and use my bonus action to disengage. Yeah, perfect. Where do you want to move? Away from her. <laughs> Away from her? <laughs> so like 5, 10, 15? Yeah, I want to go towards him. Yeah. So you like start trying to stay behind. She's of course going to slash at you as you're going out of her range, but she does have disadvantage. I disengaged. Oh yeah, you disengaged. Damn. You could have died honorably on the ground. <laughs> I'm growling silently when I get up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky, then it's your turn. All right. You see her slam this siren into the ground. Hmm, wonderful. That shut her up. <laughs> so I'm going to use my special move. Dissident Whispers. Perfect. On her? Yes. She hears a little song in her head. <laughs> Many voices, almost like an echo. Her singing is bad. Your lack of talent is bad. <laughs> It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut your mouth, because listening to you is more painful than gout. Here's another whispers. Oh, it is a wisdom, right? Fourteen. Four. Ah, then that's a lot of damage. And that's a lot of damage. <laughs> it's those big numbers are coming up now. <laughs> oh. It's okay. It's a tenor. 10 damage. And she has to move on her turn, right? Full movement? Yes. Uh, when it fails, uh, 10 damage. Immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from you. The creature doesn't move into obviously <laughs> dangerous ground, such as fire or pit. I would say that she's standing where she's standing then, as there is really nowhere she can go that's safe to travel. I mean, she's sure. a siren, she can swim. Yeah, I wouldn't call yeah. it unsafe for a siren to well, jump actually, in the water. Oh wait, actually that is perfect. She does jump into water. She has a million movement in water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Careful what you fish for. Fish. She comes up over here. <laughs> can she though? Can she enter the boat again after this turn? That's actually a fair point. It's our tall boat. So she will just swim. Nice. And start climbing up. So you hear climbing on the side of the boat. Mm. Then I am then going to use my bonus action to uh, yell out to our good old friend over there, the face, e the face eater. <laughs> <laughs> Alba, you're doing great work. Keep eating those faces. Perfect. That's my turn. Then it's the fish people's turn. I'll go with you. Perfect. This one comes up to you as you stand ready there at the edge. Mm. It's going to try to slash at you. Come on, Boy, 13. Just hits. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah, it does. If you take four slashing damage. Nice. Not that, since you're not raged. 5, 10, 50. This one will walk up to the gnome. Happening, I mean. I'm sorry. Don't cancel me. I'm terribly offended. <laughs> <laughs> it hits uh, for you and it gets a tree with a natural one. So it slashes for you, dance away. No problem at all. Nice try, fish stick. <laughs> <laughs> it was their turn. Um, what is your passive perception? Twelve, right? Perfect. And what is yours? You're also at the edge. Eleven. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Perfect. That's wonderful. Mm, perfect. Then it's Lexi's turn. You see her now starting to crawl up towards you. Okay. Then I will just um, carefully rub her flask and uh, shoot an Elder's Blast at uh, this one again. Perfect. Hopefully murdering it. Probably not nine. To hit? Nine to hit. Oh, it does not hit. I'm sorry. False. It was almost though. <laughs> then I will just move up here, get the good vantage point of the whole Perfect. battlefield. That's your turn? Yes. Perfect. And she's gonna climb up the rest of it, ending up here. Oh, almost fell off. 
She does not have more movement, so she won't really get anywhere. But she will... Hold her breath. Hold her breath. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, she will call and cast sleep over here. Oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> so... That guy definitely How many sleep. point hit points is sleep again? It's We're currently only level two, so a lot or something. D and D sleep. It sleeps so many dream. Actually, it's funny because it's the highest HP first, right? Lowest first. Is it lowest? Five D eight, yes. Three, four. Twenty-one points. So how much do you have left? Three. Three, so you fall asleep. And you would be next? Uh, I have twelve this left, one though. So. Oh, it does hit enemies too. Yep. Yes, he has one HP, so he also falls asleep. Nice. Four. So, four HP, and it was twenty-three, so you had twelve. I have twelve. So you also fall asleep. Well, you seven. Yeah, okay. Well, it wouldn't really hit nope. anyone else from there. Perfect. So all three of you are asleep. And that's her turn. Then we have Fregor. You're asleep. Are you able to try to wake up? Am I? Uh, hit points from the top of the No, I think it's either someone just had to pinch you or you are staying asleep. It's an action to wake you up, please. Yes, then it is actually Alba's turn and you are also asleep. Yay! So it's Yay. Lucky's turn. So I just quick. Wake me up. Wake me up, Alright, I'm going to have to ask her. Question now. Can I wake them up with noise? Mm, I would say if you used one action, you could try to wake one person up. Since you have your mental connection, I guess. With noise? Yeah. Check out. Some. No, I think it's time for some good old revenge. It's time for them to go to sleep. I cast sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, about to get sleepy in here. <laughs> on the one guy that's already asleep. <laughs> all, of, so all of us here are sleeping. All of them are asleep. Mm. This one too? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's one too. But can I not cast sleep? Yeah, you can cast it on her. On these two? Yeah, of course. Um, well, not on both, I think. You can choose one of them, I think. I don't so know. So it's a radius or yeah. something. So either her or this one. But if you choose this one, you might include yourself or me. Oh, I'm not feeling that sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to sleep this one. Yeah, go for it. 5d8. 5d8. I have to figure out how much life she has left. Oh, Alright. I need one hit point on this guy to move my hands. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> you were like, turn my Oh. Do I have uh, one more? One more. Thank you. Go to sleep, you ugly fish. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. terrible. Not too Absolutely bad. Absolutely garbage. It's a 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 18. No effect. Oh man. To be honest, not even close. Oh man. Like, at all. Yeah, it wasn't even blink an eye. It was worth a try. <laughs> she stares you down, annoyed, trying to copy her. First, you try to play music through a disruptor, and now <laughs> then you try to cast the sp same spell as her. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna dress as her. <laughs> I'm going to use my bonus action to speak in her mind. Alright. We are the same. <laughs> <laughs> we are the same. Do not attack me. I am a fish in disguise. <laughs> Perfect. That's your turn. I so this one is still asleep and the last one is going to try to hit you. The one standing in front of you. He does not hit. Get a three with the natural one. So that's their turn. Lexi, it's your turn again. I will just go this way. Wake up the angry man. Angry, angry man. man. Angry man. Huh? Huh? Please, do what you do best. Be angry and kill this one for me. <laughs> oh, Alright. As he says that and you wake up and you start to feel the boat like shaking like violently back and forth. And you see more of these creatures starting to climb up oh on both Lord. sides. Uh, Fregor, it's your turn. Um, no, it's actually not. It's her turn. 
damage is useless from this distance. 5, right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She gets here about. No, can you save her? She's that, down! She's finally <laughs> down! Then it's your Fregor. She fell over. Um, Alright. Can I use. Would it be a action or a bonus action to take out my 50 foot of rope? Tie it around my waist and tie it to the. I would say it would be an action to do all of that. Yeah, I fear that. Um, <coughs> I don't want to be that guy, but no, that's no, a lot of fun. stuff. No, it's fine. It's fine. I get it. Really? <laughs> Let's go, Dag. <laughs> Come on, man. Tell me okay, I'm gonna take my whole break, and I'm not gonna rage. I'm just gonna put a grab. <laughs> okay, Cobra tries to hit. <laughs> do I get advantage? Is he's because so he's down? Yeah, he's sleeping. So yeah, you have advantage. Cool. That was still uh, 13. That hits. Beautiful. You can roll damage if you want to, but it has one HP. <laughs> Let's do another one. So you're just with the back side of your halberd? Or? Yeah. So you're just like, Boop. bam. I'll just do like a poke in the, in the, in the, in the forebrain. In the forebrain? Yeah, just <laughs> lobotomize it. All four of them. <laughs> huh? The four, four brain. brains? Mm. No. All four of the brains. Are there any of the crewmates around here? Like yeah, there are people fighting back here. Okay. But not up here in our. Vicinity. Not in your vicinity right now. But you see a few of them moving up, and you see the ballista like turning towards the siren. Actually. Okay, can I use a bonus action to tie it around my waist, at least? I would say that's okay. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Get the rope out and start tying it around my waist. Yes, it does look strange, but uh, you are doing it. Mm. Awa, you are asleep. Lucky, it's your turn. All right. I'm starting to get enough of this fish over here. I see. Hmm. I'm going to use Tasha's hideous laughter. On this? And this one right here. Perfect. And I'm going to crack a joke. Uh, is it wisdom? Hey, so it's the wisdom. So 15 plus 2, 17. 17, which sadly succeeds. <laughs> I guess sorry. my joke was not that well laid out. Maybe it made her more angry. After all, my what I said was, uh, you're adopted. <laughs> By accident. <laughs> accident? Yeah, oh, that did that happen? Her off. Probably. Yeah. She looks angry. No. She was like, oh, this is one of my own. And then you were with her. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to uh, shout out to the big bumbling man over there. Oh, you're finally awake. Hope you had a good snoozing. Hey, you're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> now, get to, now get to chopping some of these fish. <laughs> oh. And I give you a bardic inspiration. <laughs> bardic inspiration. Thank now you. the one in front of you uh, slices at you again. For a seven. Six, I mean. Does that hit? I don't mean to be rude, but you really should stop this. <laughs> As you say that, it's like, like Rook looks around, and you see more of them up here. Oh my god. And these coins will also represent them. Mm. Ah, I hate that. With a skull. <laughs> that's, that's nice. One comes up here, and one up here, so over here. So, then it is Lex's turn. Gather around, people, gather around. <laughs> I say to the fish, uh, fish folk. <laughs> okay. Gather around, I got a gift, gift for you when you come. Uh, and I will bonus action move my hex to this guy. Oops. Do you have to kill him? <laughs> what are you doing? I do have to kill him, and I will attack him with my Eldritch Blast. That's uh, 12 to hit. 12 hits. 12 hits, that's great. <laughs> Just more than last time. That's more than last time. That's. I, I suppose oh, it's cocked, it's though. Ugh. Perhaps not more than last time. Okay, yes. A lot more. So it's uh, he 11 on dice. dice. So, so you boom, blast him. This one's gone. Saving the happening in the process. Since Thank it was you in very moral much. danger. <laughs> we get hit zero times. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lexi. That was a real annoyance. And then I turn, just standing on the other side of the wheel, and look at the lady in, uh, in charge. Perfect. As you turn around, you swear you saw something move in the water. Oh, Kraken! Uh, then it is 
the siren's turn and she's gonna move up to you accepting your challenge she's going to slash at you twice oh not you <laughs> <laughs> you're minions <laughs> uh, 18 to hit 18 hits perfect magnifique uh, 8 damage from the first one uh, 17 to 8 does also hit 12 damage on the second one. Oh, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's an unconscious uh, Oof. girl. Oof. Oof. So she serves up to you, slashes twice against you, and you fall into the ground unconscious. You don't see Alexi laying on the ground, bleeding. And the power healer is down. <laughs> I'm sleeping. <laughs> wake the healer. Then it is Fregor, your turn. You're a healer, right? Um, okay. Fregor. I'll, as I'm Moving backwards to tie, use my bonus action to tie the rope. Fair. I accidentally step <laughs> on El- Elba. You step on me. Waking her up. <laughs> <You are there>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will still say it's an Oops. action to wake her up. Uh, <laughs> it's cute, but. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <Man. laughs> I mean, okay, I. They go, wake up! Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> and then I. Uh, Go back to tie myself to the Perfect, to the tie yourself. But this Wonder ship sinks, I'm going down. <laughs> I'm going down with it! <laughs> but uh, you are awake now, finally. Okay. And it's your turn. Okay. I do say to her, if, I, if I'm going down, pull me back up. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, so I will... Um, I'll... While I'm taking out my cross... Bow. I'm just gonna start muttering to myself again while giving the siren my evil eye. Evil eye. And I'm gonna cast healing word on you. Oh, thank God. Um. <laughs> it would be important if it killed you instantly. Five hit points. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, so your then... wounds close faintly, but still in a lot of pain. My hex is gone. Oh. And when I'm done muttering, I'm gonna start growling again. And I'm gonna fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, that, 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 that's at nine. Nine does not hit her, unfortunately. Ooh. I'm kind of done with the nines now. Well, you tried. But you did save Lex's life, at least. As it is Lucky's turn. You see the siren. As Lexi wakes up, the siren looks down at her again. Looking angry, wanting to finish her job. I see this. I am greatly outraged. After all, we were in the middle of a sing off. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to run up over here and try and drop kick her straight in the chest <laughs> <laughs> to kick her down to the deck over here. All right, that's a push action, I would uh, presume. So it's a strength athletics versus acro- athletics or acrobatics. Can I do an acrobatics? I'm running and I'm trying to drop kick her go straight for, in the chest. Go for it, I will allow that. You're one ugly fish lady. Now feel the sole of my feet. Nine on her part. It's a 20 favor. <laughs> oh my god. So you run up, slam into her, and she falls down for the few feet she does. She does take two damage. Just from falling down there, slamming into the side. Oh, I oh. hate this. <laughs> Siren, you can do it. I mean, she is down. (laughs) (laughs) Flattened on the ground. Yes. There we go. We were able to defeat her and then rise her up again. (laughs) Perfect. Then it's it's zombies. I would like to try and intimidate her. Go for it. I do not promise it will work, but. No, just for the good times. (laughs) You're ugly, and so is your mother. (laughs) Now get off! You can roll an intimidation for it. I don't know it. my mother, I was accidentally adopted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh, 24. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm half... Oh, no, I'm full proficient. Are these dice weighted? <laughs> you weren't supposed to ask. <laughs> <laughs> she is extremely annoyed, and you do see extreme fright come over her. <gasps> she, like, she looks to the edge and like starts moving towards it. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm ready for you. And then it's the, the fish people's turn. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 actually, right, 5, 10, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, what the heck, key card, 10, 15, 25, 30, yes, 30, 30, but, uh, one, uh, about there, this one will move up to you, and slash at you, as you did attack the queen for a 13. It's a miss. God damn it. I need you to die. Attacking That's their the turn. Queen. Next, it's your turn. You are laying on the ground. You are alive again. Okay, so I will just stand up and. Is I'm there a way to, like, down. carefully. Oh, yeah, I can just go to. Yeah, you can just walk down. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I have prone. So half movement. So could I just carefully jump down? Yeah, yeah that, it's not like that extremely tall. Here into the stairs up. Is that how yeah, dangerous that, is that? Will I? It will be going? okay. Okay, so you are a gnosis too, aren't you? So yeah, five, ten, fifteen. I will stand here. Yeah. And these two guys just moved. Yeah. I know she's like probably right behind me. Yeah. So I just look at you. Look at her. And go, go like this, and I prepare uh, to cast a spell. Perfect. Do you want to know which, or is I don't need to know what. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's her I turn. Prepared. And I will cast it when she gets uh, within five within feet. Within five feet. Okay. This one. It's her turn, and she will uh, take you up on your challenge. But you see her like moving towards the edge. So I will cast thunder wave. Oh. Perfect. At, at, at the moment, he she oh gets Come. here. I will cast thunder wave. Uh, originating from me in a 15 foot cube uh, all around, so it will Oof. hit these two and her. Perfect. Okay, yes. that one is a natural oh. one. Illusion saving throws, right? 4 and 13 plus. Just remember. Uh, she gets 15, the other one's like 5 oh, and 6. Okay, so the other ones both fail. Um, but she succeeds, that's bad. How much damage does she take half? So half, yes. These Take 11 damage and are blasted out. Oh shit! The bats sploosh into the water. Nice. You see one of them look relieved. She takes 5 thunder damage and does not fly anywhere, and I start sweating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wonderful! You got 2 out of 3! Good job! Uh, also, you have almost done uh, 20 damage to a forcer. That's pretty cool. That was your turn, or you want to move? No, that's, you can't. That's move. my reaction on her turn. Oh, so turn right. Turn. She will slash towards you twice. The first hit, uh, 15 plus 7, so a million. <coughs> well, how much life do you have? Five hit points. Okay, yeah, you're dead. I'm unconscious, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Huge difference. <laughs> and she... I does she attack me again? I will check if she does. That's a big question. Such evil. She will hit you again. <gasps> yeah, that's a... A natural one on the roll. Oh, okay. Wait, does she have advantage? She because has advantage. Uh, 17, 8, 19. Oh, that <laughs> so, two death saves. Oof. As she plunges her hand into your chest Oof. and then rips it out. And you guys now see just blood pouring out on the deck. Um, Fred, you're it's your turn. Most awesome. I say, no! I rage and I go sprinting and... I'll try to grap grapple out. I have the grappler feet, so I believe I get an uh, advantage. How far is your rope? 50 feet. Oh, okay, 50 feet, good. <laughs> I was not <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you like try to like pull her with you a few feet back? Uh, no, I'll just grapple her yeah, to the ground. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, she gets an 18 plus dex, right? So 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. Remember your bardic inspiration. I will, I will. Just your friendly neighborhood bard. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. You're truly oh. terrible at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Eight plus uh, bardic insp. You ever heard about Taimora? <laughs> okay. That's 13. That's Still not what you USA. First athletic. 16. Oh, I'm sorry. So you like go to crush her in your hands, but she pff, slams out of it. Man. She Don't licks the blood of her hand and stares you down. There's always a next day. There is. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Yeah, that's my turn. Perfect. Then it's Alba, it's your turn. 
I'm gonna scream, and when I scream, you get. Four hit points. Each. Healing stream. Yes. Healing stream. <laughs> I want to run. Shrek. I want to get up on the railing. Right. Where you are. Jump up? off the railing towards her and try okay. to topple her over. I'm really, really angry. So you're going to attack her face again? <laughs> I don't care where I hit. I just well, want to fall over. Well, yeah, you're just healing words, so bonus action. So you still have your action. Yep. Right? So you leap off against her, so the same procedures as last time, I presume. Yeah. So just roll for hit. You'll not get advantage this time as it's not as creative a second time. That's okay. That's eight. Eight does not hit. So you scream out, keeping her alive, but you jump off, she grabs you in the air and slams you to the ground. You manage to like uh, combat roll up as you are dexterous. But it did hurt your shoulder a little bit. And your feelings. And your feelings. And my feelings. And my pride. <laughs> and your pride. <laughs> and with that, it's Lucky's turn. What's this right here? It's the mask going up. Ah, oh, right. How far down is it? From here to here? Five feet. Oh, right. You do have a fish person next to you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> They're all smelling. <laughs> so I am going to uh, shout out. Get your filthy fish fingers off, my friend here. Then I'm going to jump from these and try and impale her chest with my newly forged rapier. Yes, you jump off and go for it. Throw for hit. Sticker. Straight in the chest. Straight in the chest. Alright. Don't be an attack. If I remember. Oh, that's a 19. That hits. So it's wonderful. Spicy. It's 9 damage. 9, perfect. 28 total. There. So you jump off, slamming into her. She screams out as you hit her. And you can see that she's wounded. But she's say real quiet. No, this is between you and me now. <laughs> Perfect. That was your turn, then it's the, the other fish's turn. I say we're going to st start. This one's going to charge up to you and hit you. 17. One point of slashing Ooh. damage. Oh, might your tire. <laughs> this one is going to jump off the edge. Nice. Why is Trace? <laughs> this one is going to jump down to you, and it's going to slash for you. Wrong choice. For a seventeen. That hits. For six points of damage. Oh my good almighty! That's terrible. You're almost dead. Yes. <laughs> Remember you have. Uh, you have. I have oh. seventeen. Damn, dude. There's another fish person on the back of your back there. Oh, yes, I almost forgot him. We would have moved technically as well. Actually, he will also jump off. Hmm. But he will not jump off on that side. He will start running this way. And we will dash and jump off on this side. Cool. They're leaving the queen. She must be a terrible Fuck queen. the queen. And then it's Lexi, it's your turn. You are laying on the ground. Alive like once more. I will. Feeling this extreme pain from your chest. Now she hasn't taken a reaction, so I know if I leave, she will just hit me and make me unconscious. So I will bonus action Misty Step, which you shouldn't have at second level, but I do. <laughs> and stand up. I missed it here, I suppose. Yes, Ballista. Ballista. And then I will just Eldritch Blast <laughs> the, the woman. Better Ballista. <laughs> better be Ballista. An original yes. choice. That's a 19, that hits. whatever, 25 to hit. That uh, definitively hits. That's 10, so Ooh. 16 damage Six. in total. Damn. Wonderful. Truly. How's she doing now? She's looking really bad. Like, she's technically alive. But not by much. You, like, you blast uh, against her, and you, like, you see this huge burn mark on her chest going up her neck and her face. She's technically alive, but theoretically <laughs> dead. Just hobble against the, uh, the railing. Yeah, and you feel like it like <laughs> all the time now. Mm -hmm. The world is moving a lot. A lot, and it's the siren's turn. You just jumped on her and you challenged her. 
All right, she will go for you and slash you twice uh, for a one and a 21 on the second one. The second one hits. The first one misses. 14 points of uh, slashing damage. You hear? Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> I thought you said you had 17 left. Hey, but I took 6 damage earlier. <laughs> so I'm going down. I had 11 left. 17 minus 6 is 11. <laughs> I'm so Dude. against the tail of looking at charms. Yeah, you just need to be You become a rainbow. Then you find <laughs> this pot of gold. <laughs> so cold. Okay, that was her turn. Both her hits. And, well, she w- would move if, if it wouldn't kill her. Gregor, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going for the head, guys. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop. I chop. do you have, I uh, do have advantage since I'm uh, you flanking. You are flanking. Oh, beautiful. I need reckless attacker. You don't need reckless. Oh, no. I still do. <laughs> you still do. Uh, <laughs> still do. Um, okay, that's a twelve plus. Yeah. Sorry, seventeen to hit. That hits perfect. Beautiful. Problem. Ooh, nice. Um, Twelve damage. Chop it well, <laughs> do I lob off the head? Does it go flying? Bowling ball fight. <laughs> so you like line up your axe. It's like dealing with all these people, and you like slash clean off, and then on the backswing, ah, beautiful. The flat side <laughs> of his, chuck it off the end of the boat. Beautiful. And you see it flying this way, and you do you see the head flying, and then poof, hit something moving in the sea. As you see these scales oh my. coming over, disappearing, and then you still see something on this side of the boat. <gasps> so maybe two creatures. There's more. Um, then it is Alvas, your turn. You have these two weaklings. They see re- seem extremely frightened at this point, as the queen was just killed. Okay, so I'm they're starting gonna, to back up. I'm going to scream as loud as I can in their face while baring my teeth. Does she get advantage since I just lobbed their queen separate? Um, to see me <laughs> with my. No, I will say you not do not get advantage on it. <laughs> it's a limit on how how uh, frugal I can be on my uh, they kindness. Took, they took down one of ours and we took down one of theirs. It should be a normal straight road. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you attack one of them. Uh, yes, I point at the That's closest rude. one. And while I scream, the the air around it just start like ring. Perfect. And I cast Toll the Dead. Go for it. Does it? Is it? Oh yes, it's a wisdom. I it fails that extremely. Uh, Two plus something. Is it missing any hit points? It is not at this current oh, moment. Oh, not bad. Okay. One. <laughs> it One is <laughs> missing uh, hit points at this point. Okay. I'll. Uh, Bonus action disengage. Perfect. And I will join Lexi. Whee! And then. Hey. Yes, as you do that, you see this, all these scales like going up and down on the side. Um, Lucky, okay, it's your turn. That's safe. <gasps> nice. That's a great success. Okay, so as you're laying there, your final words you are said to your party. Ready to depart to the rainbows in the sky. You. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, no. It's just a success. Oh, I thought you said a natural 20. No. It's a great success. success. Great success. Okay, you don't. <laughs> but then thank you for the teaser. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. You're dead. You're never coming back. A meteor strikes you. It was a great day. Well, all right. We're going to the top of the round. These ones, well, almost. These are the last of the round. 5, 10, 15. 20, yeet, 15, 15, 20, yeet. They both leave the boat. So you see all the sirens leaving and you hear the rest of the crew that are dealing with a few of them starts to cheer out in victory. As you start to see these waves moving stronger and stronger on both sides. As you suddenly see something on the edge. I can't see what picture I'm going to, but hopefully it will be all right. Hopefully everyone except me. Actually, I can't do it that way. <gasps> Fuck, I'm so excited. It's gonna be horrible. It's horrible. We're all gonna die. You no, no, see no, four no, no, dragons no, no. from it's the just four dragons. Yeah. 
Three sea dragons. Four, four sea dragons jump up. Oh so my so lord! Oh <laughs> I saw it. Is that actually as you see this? Ah! What? And we have to change battle mats as uh, this boat is too large on this one. What? I'm sorry. So you are oh here. Oh, what a lovely oh. boat! I hate this. Take the boat, they said. It will be fun, they said. <laughs> I don't want to cut my rope, but I might have to. As you see this oh. creature emerge oh my from the Lord. side of the boat. Oh, what? Oh this is not okay. Oh, no. So, oh, I have to roll initiative for him. Oh. Oh. Supposed to react to this one. That's unfortunate. Ah, that's true. <laughs> Ah, oh, seriously underwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, is that's this? a lame mini. That's a really lame mini, guys. Uh, and just you like get a <laughs> proper look at him. <laughs> Oof. That's super cool. That's yeah, so, uh, it's incredible. It's horrifying. <laughs> so <laughs> as you see it merge from the sea, towering over your puny little boat, uh, you hear the captain scream out, Leviathan! <laughs> and you see people like starting to panic on the boat. The ballistas um, will take their turn and shoot at it. One of them, it's uh, only one of them are armed. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. That is a really cool one actually, holy shit. Mm -hmm. 16, to hit it misses, you see this huge ballista, hit straight on it and it just bounces off the scales. Oh my god. <laughs> Does anyone know how uh, to so, speak with animals? Lexi, it's your turn. Now I will... So because of my um, fey, uh, fey touched feet, I had the uh, missed step spell and uh, one last spell slot or spell to use. I will, as my last ditch effort, cast Hasha's Piteous Laughter at this beast. All right. <laughs> What's the save on it? That is an, um, a wisdom saving throw. Uh, DC 14. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That would be so great. Oh. <laughs> oh. Imagine if he rolled really bad and had to use one of its legendary assistances. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> okay, right. <clears throat> well, that's, that's your turn. That's so you see this huge creature. And I will move bloop. away from this part of Yeah, the so boat. you start running to the other part, and you see all the crew now, like standing, and you uh, hear the uh, captain yell at the end of your turn. Uh, the boats! Throw the boats out! And you see a few guys like taking up this small cube. And you like, see them starting to prepare it. As it is the Siren's turn, which is dead. Fregor, your turn. You see this huge leviathan above you. Um, I... Let's see what he does. <laughs> I run for the railing. Towards it? Towards it and my rope. Yes. <laughs> and I start frightening me, I'm tying it. <laughs> so you, you actually you manage to rip it off. Yeah. And you stand and now hold it, holding your rope. I go. And then I run back. <laughs> towards okay, the as you show it, the thing like moves a little bit closer towards you. Okay, then it's Alba, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you also run to the other side. You also see these people like starting with these cubes, like turn it. You see a faint light coming from it. I run towards them. Perfect. You also start running towards it. It takes you a little bit more since you are since you had to run there and then start running back. Lucky, it's your turn. All right. Time to see how much I am going to voluntarily leave this earth. <laughs> oh, no, yes, still down. I That's sorry. another success. So, oh. don't, worry <laughs> oh, don't worry about me. So I'll do fine legging <laughs> here and there. Uh, I'll be all uh, completely uh, all right. Perfect. It's, just it's take a little bit of a nap question. here. Uh, are we still in initiative? Oh yeah, we're still in initiative. Uh, okay. I we couldn't are. have. Uh, this is a combat. Okay, fair enough. I couldn't have picked him up on the way. Don't worry. Ah, just you, you did use your action to okay, untie, but fair. you can say that you ran to him. I ran towards him. Perfect. Yeah, just uh, leave me. I'll be alright. He's going to use some of his attacks. Uh, the first, see so approximately there, there, there. Uh, he's going to go for some of the crew. Uh, he's going to use first his first three attacks. My lord. And. Wow, I rolled extremely good, 17, 16, and 18, which is the lowest is 18, 19, 21, 34 to hit. What? No, for, yeah, 34 to hit. And he okay. does. With what? Who? The Leviathan uh, takes one of the crewmates, the chef, you see this Leviathan come down, pick him up in his teeth, and does. Uh, Have you seen the chef? 
and he does 30 points of dam uh, damage as he crushes him and then he does it oh, two more times and four. swallows him and the, the tail comes and slams into the side and takes one of the other crews down and you see the ship starting to break in the middle as it starts moving and it starts going to the side you see the captain here now draw, draw his sword and start running towards the leviathan Ooh. with a sword? <laughs> Oh, it's not, it's not Captain Jack Sparrow. Go for right straight again. We're going 10 now. Oh. All right, Lex, it's your turn. You see this man frantically trying to uh, deal with this box, and he, it opens up, and he's about like to now start showing it out. It's your turn. And I will go towards that guy. Just Yeah. And when you do, it's like, uh, we have to get everyone into uh, this, boat, this boat. It will become a ship when I throw oh. it out. Yeah, so I probably... When I got out of here, I probably just dropped my backpack since, you know, there's a combat going on. Yeah. So I will first go and pick up my backpack. <laughs> Gotta remember Throw those muffins. Back. Yes. <laughs> those muffins are important. And the short part. And the short part. Yeah. Yeah. The best part is you run past him laying on the ground, <laughs> pick up the backpack <laughs> laying next to him, and then you run past him again. No. <laughs> well, I will stay stay with him. I, I see he's trying to pick me up. Uh, I will try save face. Stay with him and try to drag him along. <laughs> okay, so the two of you. Then it's your turn, so the two of you start just dragging him down. I just put him on my shoulder. Keep him right, so You run to the side and you see like this whole boat like tipping over and you just slide into the railing and you like have to stop yourself with oh, one of your arms. And you also just slide down towards it. Um, then it's Alba, it's your turn. Uh, well, they are all the way over there. And I'm on the other side. What's the guy with the thingy doing? Yeah, he's like he's opening it and it looks like it. next round he will throw it out and it will become a boat. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna run over to my friends. Yeah. So you all are now in this clump. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hug Lex's leg. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so you're on uh, Lex's leg right now and it's lucky it's your turn to roll another death save. Alright. He's on his last legs. Well, I only have two. <laughs> That's, true. Oh, That's nice. another success. So you're stabilized. At three least. out of three. That's you are good. rolling absurdly well. Time is on your side. Didn't I tell you I got weighted dice? <laughs> 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 so you're starting to breathe normally again, and as it's the Levian's turn, as you see it, um, well, the first thing it's going to do at the end of your turn, it's actually going to use a legendary action, and you see like this whole ship instantly sink half of it down as you see this maelstrom of water trying to pull it down and you see everything about it getting destroyed and then it's going to use its steam breath you see a lot of the crew like making their way upstairs trying to get to you as its breath goes towards the boat and I need uh, who would be the closest it would be you and I imagine the yeah, actually only you would need to make it a certain same throw. I have a danger sense, which means I you get have ad advantage. advantage on Perfect. anything I can see. Perfect, go for it. It's only 50 damage Isn't plus it? the roll. Holy shit. Is that uh, a one? That's a five. Another one. Come, Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Here's another dice. Oh, not Whoa. too bad. That's uh, uh, 16. 16, all right. Well, so you see this huge breath of steam coming towards you and you're about to get hit by it as you see the captain pulls you to the side, sacrificing himself <gasps> to take the brunt of the hit. You do still take some of the damage, but you are covered. Um, so... What about me? Well, you're, you're, like, you're on his side. I, I imagine you will be okay. I will not punish you. <laughs> You're nicer than I would have been. <laughs> you take 18 points of damage. 18? Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so you also slam into the ground. Well, you could have taken 92 damage if you take it. I'll, oh, okay, I'll one. take it. I'll, I'll sell it. 92? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Average 42 plus 50 damage. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh my lord. So that's his turn. He uses those two moves and then it is Lexi. On the beginning of your turn, this man throws this boat. <laughs> Uh, into the water and you see poof, this boat uh, appear. It does not fit a lot of people, maybe max 16. But most of the people standing around you will at least fit. So are there crew around? Yeah, so there are, there are people now making their way. But you see some of them like having a brave face, they just saw the captain dying. But like being like, 
yes, we're going to help people and like help people off the boat instead of just jumping off instantly. I will uh, pick two uh, two crew members that I that I see close to me and say, "The two of you, grab the big guy." And I, then I will take the uh, short one. <laughs> yeah. And just. <laughs> Lift it, uh, jump this into the boat. Yeah, well, persuasion, just to make sure if they are actually <laughs> listening to you at all. Just to see your uh, butt take me. No! <laughs> Remember so your 11. bardic inspiration. 11. Remember your bardic, your bardic inspiration. inspiration. I did get that. Oh! oh! So 17. 17. Oh! You <laughs> see, they are reluctant, but they're like, all right. <laughs> if we help him in, then we get to go on instantly. We don't have to help. Oh, God, it yes. seems they will help reluctantly. <laughs> Just as you pick all the lucky matches. I was still going to be like, they don't. You're here. <laughs> oh, but then you it's Fregor, your turn. That same true? Come on. I'm never using that one again. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nine. That's a failure. So you pick one failure. It's, that, it's just a straight roll. Right? Yeah. So one failure. <laughs> as, as it's Alba, it's your turn. Um, you see Lexi uh, going down with Lucky on the boat. And some strong big guys. Yeah, like they are about. Him. They are starting to help him down. Okay, I'm gonna climb on you. And just hang there. <laughs> I have a rope if you want. I want to. No, I want to like. Um, I was gonna say mount you, but I just want to like <laughs> hold you and get dragged along with you as I'm like trying to stabilize you frantically. Awesome. Perfect. Does you want she? to try to stabilize? Yeah, while like holding on. Being yeah, that would be a medicine check. Remember your bardic inspiration. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a lot better. Remember, it's a d6. Yes. All right. 16. 16. So you get the one success, which is good. That is, that is good. Did I stabilize him? You did not. Uh, you need. Uh, it's, I think there's a feat you need to stabilize. Com- no, actually, I do think you stabilize completely. Don't you? you yes. No, you, you do do it. Uh, I, I just remember that wrong every single time. But you are stabilized. Woo. Awesome. And you're all out of bardic inspirations. <laughs> but we're all alive. So then it is Everyone lucky is. your turn. You're still unconscious. They do make their way with the two now with the boat, and you see the Leviathan start to crush the more of the boat. You see them in swallow two more, and its tail crushes another guy. Uh, but a few people get on this boat and they start rowing. Is that, well, I was about to, is anyone helping? But most of you are <laughs> unconscious. Any of you help rowing on it? I will be inspiring. All right. <laughs> I will see if anyone needs any help medically. Uh, yeah, like everyone is wounded bad. Okay, I'm just gonna start with the most cri- critically wounded. Perfect. Like you can do me a medicine check, and you can do do me a um, a, uh, either performance or persuasion, or intimidation if you want to go that route. I could go intimidation. Go for it. <laughs> You're gonna keep rolling right now. We are going to die, all of us. I am going to personally kill you if that gets us. <laughs> That's a 16. 16. So you start seeing like they're wounded and how much did you get? 19. 19. So you like uh, bandage up some of the arms, you splint one, so you, you see they are able to roll faster. And with your, you see them panicking and like, oh, oh, oh. we saw them deal with the cyber leader, okay, we have to go fast. And you see a few people starting to like work on, on these two, like helping you stabilize them more and trying to heal them to the best of their ability. But none of them are actual healers. The good cop, bad cop routine. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I heal, I kill. <laughs> but you do manage, as you're sailing away, you see this Leviathan towering over the ship, take the whole thing down in one swoop. As you hear the screams of people drowning and dying into the water. But you do manage to, like, the wave that is created when it smashes down the ship, pushes your boat further along and you feel more or less safe in this storm still going on and uh, you do faintly hear the singing of sirens uh, from time to time but they seem more occupied now with this leviathan being around that's my dad (laughs) (laughs) hit my dad wow Uh, question Uh, Fenric was the captain Fennec was uh, one uh, was the leader, like the person ad, um, responsible for the crew, is not she the captain. Here? She is not here. Oh. oh. Big rip. The people you see around you are just common workers. It seems that the people that were steering the ship or having some important jobs stayed behind to try to buy time for everyone getting away. 
It's the one that I filled out of a lot of money there. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> so, it takes a while, a few hours, but you do make strand yourself ashore. It's still frozen ice everywhere and snow and it's horrible. You're all wet. You do get one HP back each of you as you are stabilized and <coughs> brought back to life, more or less. Uh, <sighs> but you're hurting extremely bad. I can barely feel my feet. No, Where am I? Okay. okay, it's fine. See, here. You're good. See, see, see what, the, what I did in the kitchen. I'm gonna take out a <laughs> <that> box. <laughs> 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 see, look here. I made you three cupcakes. Oh, no. carrot cupcakes. You made me one of those. I, I made Green cupcakes. Yeah, I made you three of them. Thank you so much. If my insides and my whole body was not hurting so much, I would probably give him a taste. I'll have one. Later. I'll have one. All right, I'll try one too. <laughs> <laughs> one of your ribs crack as you do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it tastes delicious. They're quite tasteful. Yes. You're an excellent cook. <laughs> yes. I didn't know what to do about the green things on the top, so I just took the top end of a carrot. <laughs> it's all right. As you say, it's all right. Lightning strikes behind you. <laughs> well, not in behind you, but in front of you. And you see the flash of something on a mountain top. I hope it's this one. As you see, oh a <laughs> ancient white dragon fighting a storm giant behind you. It's quite a far away, but you do see this huge um, storm giant get a real good hit in the dragon. You see scales flying off as the lightning disappears. You don't see it anymore. A small Ooh. cave is to your side. And uh, the crew uh, tell you that they are trying, going to set up camp here and pray that some of the crew that was left outside will manage their way back or at least... Uh, put up graves and cure the ones they have. But if you are only about an hour away from Lonelywood, and you can make your way there, going through this tunnel. So I presume you make your way, you warm yourself as you go through this tunnel, and as you come over a hilltop and look down, you finally see some lights. Um, the town of Lonelywood lies before you, but something strange is afoot. You can see through the heavy snow shapes moving through the surrounding woods in a dark, darkened town. As you look closer, you can see the dark blue eyes of the undead. You are shouting from the towns as fires are lit in a circle around a single house in the middle. And that's where we're going to end it this session. Woo!